card and boom cube contra valle kof we got my isla and Shermy. that is a very destructive team i like it yeah absolutely i like it can't wait to see how this one's gonna play out hmm. of course just getting the point war in and you know maybe a uh, boom cube having to sit there and cool off for a little while we'll see how that's going to affect them right <laughs> starting off things with kyo up against mine it's possible Ready? start this off yeah kyo versus my uh, fighting for number one in japan yeah. That's a little bit of a lore thing. My my square is up and down. She's number one in Japan, not kill. <laughs> We're gonna find out right now. Okay. Yeah, nice able to stuff. Harassing with that fireball game as well, but the hop CD there from Boom Cube able to start mounting some offense. Ooh, good stuff. What nerfs says says kill player? Ooh, doesn't complete the Rekka. Yeah, even nerf Kyo is still a incredibly strong character. You still see him played at the highest possible level. Sure. Anti-air jab from that range and it works. Oh, this is good, but does not finish. Could have been a solid combo there. I like this song coming up. Good choice, Boom Q. Oh, yeah. here we go. The up legs with the EX as well, but we missed the Rekka. That is really unfortunate. Could have closed it out right then and there. And now you give Valle KOF another chance to survive, mm. I would say. Yeah, Vaya KOF whiffing some big stuff there. Her slide, if it does not touch, it has some of the most recovery in the game. And you saw the 2C as well getting blown up. So yeah, Boom Cube definitely versed in this matchup. All right, but here we go. Isla, arguably top one in the game right now here. Going up against Kill. Let's see the way that Vaya is going to pilot her. Just red kick in your face and he gets another confirmed. Does Boom Cube. 5-7 and Greasy, but this uh, Isla is getting burnt to a crisp. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, you can't do that that close. I yeah, just challenge. The boom Cube kind of running away right now with the pace of the match. Goes for the low on the Rekka. Great blocks for Valle. And there's a nice roll to escape from the corner as well. Hmm. That was a cute little OS there. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. yeah committed way too hard. Was expecting boom Cube to flinch. Bro, does his leg get bigger when he do that hop kick? Oh, why does it look so big? <laughs> it feels like it stretches out. You just doll some out here in these streets. Bro, that's crazy. You learned a little thing or two from Duolong, right? <laughs> I'm saying. All right, trying I to learn something from Shermie. A few things I like to learn from Shermie, but here we go. Hop CD right on in. Yeah, doesn't have the resources, but I mean, Shermie's still one of the better anchors. Just gonna have to pick your spots because Valle right now not doing a good job getting opened up by the kill lows consistently. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but now we have this corner pressure here. Nice, I love that. Stuffing you from getting out of the corner, but the guard cancel backwards, giving Boom Cube just enough time to get the punish. Yeah, smart decision and the opt. Oh, okay, Boom Cube. First game, bro. He set it off already. He's trying to get out of here and watch WrestleMania too. That's why I feel it. I can't believe he hit him with the hokey pokey there at the end. Ooh. Orochi Nagi. Throttle. Boom Cube taking the first game. Yeah, with the Kyo CV to kick things off. And he said, you got first class skills. They're just useless against me. That's crazy. Ooh. <laughs> the backhanded compliment. <laughs> Tear zero kill. Let's go. Now let's see, is Avaya KF going to be able to bring things back? You get, honestly, it, it was so difficult to put a stop to that kill. We were getting in a lot of stray hits, especially early on, but it wasn't really connecting into any real combos where we were able to spend our meter, right? Also, committing a lot of huge call-outs where we spend our resources and put ourselves in a big way to be punished. For sure. like that, Just like that again, right? Just jumping right over the re -imble. That's kind of the problem by the fake standing. That was, that was sick. He did the fake stand normal, got him with the low on the way down, and Boom Cube just very optimal. And he can kill one of the best, I would say, like snowball characters. Like, so hard to stop this character when he's rocking. Yeah, absolutely. He's rolling right now. Maya just oh. trying to get her bearings. Yeah, use that. Okay, first confirmed. Not going to spend any resources from Maya. Maybe wanted to push first into the corner. Ooh, trying to the advancing strike, but unfortunately, a lot of recovery on that. Barely alive. Chip damage will do it, but instead, it's going to be a throw. Yeah. Looks like the fire was coming out just a little bit more from Valle, but still, again, Boom Cube just on set right now with that kill. It comes easily. Got to clean up the inputs. We've been seeing uh, just some crazy commitments as well, right? Just busting out DPs at wrong moments. Let's see. Mm. Okay, that was the right time to use it. Yeah. Ooh, that was a punish. 
Is that two way from kill is such a problem in this set. They go off the ground, yo. Don't litter. So let's kill. <laughs> oh, and what a punish there with the close C as well. Rush on in to A. Goes for the overhead this mm. time with the Rekka. And we're trying to go for a double kill CB. Yeah, it is looking like it. He's actually going to come in with more health and resources in his final round. It is down to Shermie, but she's got three bars now, Jobber. So hopefully we can get that big hit that Valiant needs to convert into some big damage. Oh, what wow. a DP. The linger of that close B. I like how Boom Cube is just varying up his offense a bit. Oh, too early. Yeah. The from Valle, gonna get the command throw. Just goes for the advancing strike there. Get those plus frames on deck. But again, we're committing way too hard to options, right? Setting ourselves up to be punished by going for a lot of negative, negative moves while we're spending meter in the process. Yeah, stuff that you don't need. But the jump B gonna stuff your options. And the double OTV to set off Tampa Never Sleeps. That is one hell of a way to start a capital letter for sure there from Boom Cube. Mm. Love this character. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. I was hoping to see Sombra in bracket today, but it looks I like he's not. To. Yeah, but here we go. No, you, Lucas. My favorite. You, Lucas. My favorite mother protagonist. The GOAT. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Oh, Shermie and Robert. Robert Garcia. Okay, round start Tatsu. Not a bad idea. She wants to zone and you want to stay in. She wants to set up kisses and stuff. Yeah, Robert is the character that we haven't gotten to see uh, in a while here on TNS, right? Mm -hmm. Wow, Progio really leaning into that record. Robert, he's basically gone down since that first patch. Good God, that jump scene. Look at the damage already. Yeah, oh no. You should be dead? No, no. We didn't have the right routing for it. Utilizes the guard camps just to get out of the setup altogether. Yeah. So again, for those, you know, maybe maybe newer to the stream, as you can see, Orochi Shermi shares the same normals as regular Shermi. I do think her crouching C is still five frames. I know a regular Shermi's got nerfed to seven. Um, but she also uh, has an emphasis on zoning as, a, as opposed to grappling. Yeah, but she, she's got some really good set play as well, right? What we've seen before, you know, right? That, just like that, you set up the kiss to go for a mix up there. But this time, Protegeo waking up with that reversal. Oh, Shouts yeah. to Lucas, by the way. $5 into the match, Arena. Oh, yeah. No punish that time. You can definitely challenge that just a little bit too late. Yo, that's the corner. I like that. Using the guard point from... The power dunk there, knowing that they were going to challenge. That could have been a challenge right there. Oh. Just forcing EP girl looking awake right now, though. No oh, way. no. Yeah, we tried to punish the roll through there with the 2C, but we were just a little too early on it. Oh, look at the strings. I like that. Not cancel them into the fireball or anything after the kick, after the spacing. And we're seeing a potential O Sherm OCV. Man, two OCPs to kick things off would be crazy here at TNS. But here comes Blue Mary. Not going to go down without a fight here for Protegeo. That's a punish from that range. Oh, just from the back? Where are you going? Why are you running? You felt the sting on your neck? Oh, this is oh, it. And just like that, three bad guesses, Jabba. That's all Orochi Shermi needs. Orochi Shermi OCB. Shermi, mi amor. Mi esposa. I mean, you said it, bro. Her set play is, uh, that's like the best thing she has, right? It's just getting that knockdown, finding that big hit. I mean, so EP girl, get them all. Yeah, Protegeo said, nah, I got to hit that character select real quick, homie. Yeah, I wonder what the change is going to be. Are we are we actually going to swap out any members of our team? I mean, if we're going to, you would think Blue Mary would be the one you keep, but Blue Mary is actually the one who performed the worst in yeah. that match. That was a true perfect, right? EP Peter girl just started off with with less help than a full bar. Mm -hmm. I think the Robert, you know, being uh, the technically weakest character on that team, I thought Robert actually did fine. Yeah. The Robert spin kicks the spin ball. kicks make a good, it's a good choice, right? Because Shermi is trying to set up, like I said, the kiss, just trying to chuck fireballs, use those normals. And then the spin kick, even if you space it, it's like you can just tip her out. So yeah, we're going to see that. Looks like the same team thought about it for a bit. Same order as well. You know, maybe we figured it out. Yeah, I think just taking uh, taking things back to character select and getting a breather is a good idea. Just kind of reevaluate, figure out what went wrong in that match. Yeah. Because uh, <laughs> you're especially putting a stop on your opponent's momentum, right? EB Girl, her being able to just steamroll you like that with a character, you want to put the brakes on for a second. 
Mm-hmm. You want to go back to eat, basically, right? Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know. That that old Shermie just was in there, just looking unstoppable, looking like her, her regular counterpart. So that goes to show you, even the lower tier characters in KOF, again, they, they can be fruitful for you if your opponent doesn't know the options. Robert here looking like he's part of the Judgment Day. My boy is purpled out of his mind. No one sign See, him. Yep. No, you can't jump. And this is the hard part, right? Because Robert wants to zone too. But yeah, old Shermie just yeah. not going to give you a chance. And Shermie does have that stronger fireball, like you can see, right? It's an anti-fireball fireball. Oh, it makes her zoning a little bit more scary. And, and there it is, advancing strike for the knockdown as Adrian comes through with the prime for three months. Thank you for the support. Yo, Adrian. Thank you. <laughs> Off CD to the face. Yeah, this one's looking actually harder than before. Me too, Minty. Me too. I wish he would. Oh yeah, that the theme go crazy. What's that? Uh, a rhyth um, rhythmic hallucination? I think that's what it's called. I think so. Oh, my Sorry, God. Minty. Shermie is mine. Okay. <laughs> mm. Oh, let's go. No, that wasn't deep enough. Okay, this is it. You better spend it. I'm getting her out of here from Prodigy. Gangsta. Watch yourself. All right, but the hop in guard cancel backwards to get the punish. Very nice. Set up the kiss, but there's a rollout. Oh, right out, yeah. Oh, there's that big old cross up. This is gonna hurt. Time to guess one more time. No, and you know what? EP remember because you did bust out last yeah. time with a rising tackle, so. Hey, but Terry able to carry a little bit more weight here, right? Nearly getting rid of Orochi Shermi, but it is gonna be up to Blue Mary to actually make something happen and bring this back. The last life for Protogeo. I'll start slide. Oh, okay, never mind. Okay, this is good. Kill her. I'm doing it right now. Just rumble, just rumble. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's fine. Make sure, make sure. Just there enough, and there we go. One character down, but now you got to go through Hydern and Ash, which is of course. <laughs> that is a a double feature that I don't think anyone wants to have to watch. Not at all. That team is just designed to ruin your life. Just make you miserable. That is team down back. <laughs> <laughs> team down bad or oh, down back? I got down you. Down back, yeah. down back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm down bad, but yeah, that is team down back. Down yeah, bad for sure. If it was two Shermies, that's team down bad, all right? Oh my, yeah, for sure. All right, this is Hyder, and this definitely was a problem that I've seen uh, with Tricky use against a lot of players here. We're seeing that even having the two character lead and the life lead, Miss Tricky just opting to chill back because, of course, Mary has to be the one to engage, and that's not the way. Oh, no, wrong, wrong punish. Oh, but here we go. Into the mm. neck breaker. Oh, oh, that is the ground. With, yeah. This is it. Oh my god, it's time. Oh, no, we're gonna go in for that. This actually should kill if we do the right combo. EX thing is coming. No, we dropped it. That's fine. Still doesn't matter. Yeah. Spirit gun. <laughs> An EP girl able to take it. 2 over Protegeo. Very strong performance there, especially with that Orochi Shermie. The OC. Again, that's good. That's just a testament to how balanced this game is, the current version of this game, and just the fact that you can use pretty much whoever you want. I mean, we just saw old Shermie putting the beats on people, and that character yeah, is considered the bottom five, right? So Ready, here we go. go. Matching go. colors, too. Oh, right off the bat, going for the crash. Oh. Shoot into the GP. Okay, chill. <laughs> what are we doing, bro? Yo, just again, end there, starting off the aggression. Both players not living it up. Oh, yeah, punch her in the face, man. I actually really like going for that burn knuckle there because a Yuri's fireball, if she charges it up, that does take a while to come out, right? It's going to mm -hmm, let you know does. you're not allowed to charge fireballs again. Ooh. Yeah, Yuri's jump. Louis Shaw is getting some great jump ins. Try to bait another DP. There's a CD. We're seeing this Terry actually not be able to cook. Yeah, yeah. there we go. Immediately challenging with the DP, knowing that Sombra couldn't really go for any kind of legit follow up there. Even with armor, I think you were going to get killed. Yeah, so the thing is, like, if you don't have a reversal, that works, right? Because the burn knuckle is plus frames, but any reversal in that case will work for the iframes. Yo, and he loves to round start with, like, advancing special moves, bro. <laughs> he just loves it. Let's see if Joe can get in there. Right now, Louis Chao looking good with his jury. Doesn't even go for the anywhere juggle, surprisingly. The lingering effect on a Saiha, that was long. Here we go, Tiger Upper just runs into the big right there from Luis Cha. Nice patience. I for sure thought Sombra was going to go for a DP. Oh, there we go. Tipping her with the golden heel. 
Got the corner. This is where Joe can cook. Never mind. We trade in places. And one of the things about Sombra's offensive style, too, is he's trying to walk you to the corner, right? If you're trying to play that push game, he keeps going in. Eventually, you're going to put yourself in the corner, which allows him to shine. Nice press to be there. Yeah. Stuff that, that was pressure. really smart by Louis Shaw to just immediately guard cancel roll out. You know, don't even give Sombra a chance to get started. We see a Sombra. Okay, still not enough. Using the B version. So interesting enough, he's using the B version of Golden Hill since it's faster, so he can know he can challenge Louis Cha. But the problem is the B version doesn't give you that extension for the juggle where the D version does. So he's leaving damage on the table, but he is winning the air to air. Oh. The boys are back. Oh, we got we got meter. We might be getting a stun combo, Dabra. It looks like that's what we're going for. Provided Stomper doesn't drop it. No. Oh wait. No, this does work. This does work. Yeah. We got it. So oh, close. Wait. Oh my God. All these tiger uppers. Oh, oh, that's a dead Andy if he doesn't drop it. Who oh says Joe Higashi don't got the stuns, baby? And you boy, the pipes are calling. Oh, fight, fight, win, win, Joe Higashi till the end. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> Let's get it, baby. Just like that, Louis Shaw was dominating in the neutral, and it's all it takes for Joe, man. That's all it takes. And because of that dominating round there, look how much life Sombra has gotten back, right? After we lost so much going against Yuri, we have made it up in big oh! fashion. And now the bro. reset into the low, just running wild. No way. Two no way, bro. No Two combos from Joe Higashi. The sun messed him up. Is he going to recover? He does. Bro, all it took was two combos from Joe, and Joe's meter, he had like 1.5. He didn't even have that much, Jobber. No, it was just it, it, constantly able to run and run and run, and then getting that reset was the final nail in the coffin. Listen, I've been saying since Joe got nerfed after the first patch that all the Joe people that dropped him were posers. Yeah, well, all posers, this character can still get it done. The stun right. combos are there. The Hell. damage is there. He is stat good, dude. That's right. Tell them, Rome. Tell them. Yo, let me talk my stuff. Also, shout out to Van Scott for that 30 bucks. Appreciate you, sir. We got that into the match, Reno. Are you not entertained, chat? All right. Sombra gets another opportunity here to start things off hot with Terry. Luis Cha, that was such a winnable game, too, right? It was just when Andy... Uh, it was just when am I got blown up like that, <laughs> <Yeah>. you know? <laughs> Joe just came in. No, I, I think he was dominating the neutral. We're seeing that right now, right? Like, he's still in control. Yeah, his neutral game is really, really strong. It's just the snowball effect of Sombra is so difficult to deal with. Oh, crack shoot not there enough, but that's no. a good right to tackle, yeah. And that was to cover multiple options, right? Either covering a button press from Luis Cha or trying to cover the jump out. Mm -hmm. Oh, we'll throw it back on him, but we were blocking. Too far, yeah. He gets far C. Terry doesn't have a, a special cancelable far C, unfortunately. Oh, you see Louis Shot trying to he's trying to jump to bait the, the burn knuckle on the way down, but Sombra's being more patient about it. Yeah, stopping short there to block the fireball. Nice mm. the frame trap from Louis Cha. Not able to get too much off it, but does get the ESDP here. Nice chunk of damage. Good block. I like that he keeps going for the uh the frame trap there with the two A into the two C. No, we couldn't follow up there. Interesting. Oh, a nice rollout. We immediately go for the guard can. Oh, it doesn't want to be caught in a hard place, but doesn't finish the job. Yeah, I mean Terry does good damage, but you might have wanted. No, what are you doing, Summer? No, what was that punish though from Blue Show? Okay. <laughs> oh no. That was oh. so scary. I was almost expecting another rising tackle there from Sombra after he survived. I thought so too. That was a you know, clean up on aisle four, baby. That was spilling everywhere. <laughs> we got Joe back in though. <laughs> yeah, if I'm Louis Cha, I'm, I'm like trying to stay clear of this demon. Yeah, we gotta find that big hit and soon is the hop CD. But Joe once tried to hesitate. Yeah, it is the golden heel. Uh oh. All right, Andy, let's see if you can play the game now. <laughs> Coming in two bars for both. Both these characters are making their way back to City of Wolves. We saw them on the poster, which is pretty cool. They weren't any original girls, so. We'll see if they're playable or if, you know, they just happen to be story related characters in time. I mean, Andy was not dressed to fight, so you might be right, actually. That boy had the suit on. Ooh. 
Trying to go to a funeral. Let's see if he's going to Joe's. Nope. Gonna miss the coach C. It's not careful. Joe's about to send him into the casket. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying. Oh, can't follow up from that range. But empty low. Oh. And that should be it. Oh, but isn't able to quite close it out. Still, chip damage is going to be a factor here. Mm. Gets caught by the light. He like a waiter. He did. Like, wait, he got a nine to five. All right, mine needs to work this nine to five here, put in some overtime to defeat this Joe. At least bring us to geese. Mm. Oh my god, man, just sending it there immediately on wake up. <laughs> really expected, but that was kind of a nasty empty jump low. Do it again. Oh, oh this he's got setups for days. <laughs> That's the next time. Literally three. Resets again, Jalver. Sombra on display right now for the world to see as they will advance further on in the bracket. Bro, Joe with the mix? Our Muay Thai warrior? Muay Thai? Excuse me. I'm saying you Joe players, y'all don't do that. Don't, Where don't, do that. I, don't need to get, put any flowers in the grave yet, all right? Please don't. We've had two Sam shows already, guys. We can't run it every week. I'm not commentating it every Sunday if we do. So. Here we go. Here we go. All right, yeah, here we go. Player one side. Starting with Isla. Oh, what a well timed neutral jump. All right. Ooh, right to the other side. We go for a little bit of a reset there with the command dash. Try to be cute. Okay. Yeah, good block from Yuri. This is a big punish here. We got meter. Good knockdown. Good stuff. We're looking good right now. Jobber just yeah. blowing up a uh, shout on every attempt. Good stuff. Being really un unpredictable with the offense as well, right? There's a lot of resets going on in that offense. You saw the 2A into the dash forward, 2A once, or 2B, excuse me, 2B into the dash forward, 2B once again, and just going for a lot of different hops, really keeping Shadow X on his toes. Oh, yeah. Let's see if we can get this Yori to start cooking, start grilling out here. Weather getting warmer. Oh. Stop your top again, and you got the super just in time. You got the corner, so we're getting that spray can DP optimal. Stands in. It's funny because uh, I mean, you're uh, Iori, the character with like the most known taco move, and Winston and Yurikov just keeping the mix going with his. He's looking good. He's uh, running a train right now on this team. Yeah, absolutely. Looking so strong. Oh, but this might be the derailer. <laughs> Clark might be saying this is the last stop, folks. Let's see. Bro, uh, Clark said, tonight's my night, bro. It's WrestleMania day. <laughs> Tonight is the night. <laughs> that song. Then, Ugh. now, forever, there's the rolling death cradle. Uh, together. Oh, no. Isla and Amanda's together, though. Get the opening. Dude, I wish we had, like, a John Cena skin for Clark. It would be so appropriate. Damn, this ass open though. Yeah, wow. It's very rare to see Shadow X get manhandled like this, but there we go. 2C into the quick max confirm. This is going to take a lot, bro. A lot, yeah. Hopefully it kills. Not sure. Can it go Showing their resilience here. Bro, I mean, yeah. Yurikov out here nearly giving the OCV with that Mexico power up, you see? <laughs> I just noticed that. <laughs> He's the uh, he's the Peruvian from Mexico, you know. Oh, and then two C poking back. Hold up. Oh no, his flag got changed. Now Shadow X is gonna OCV. Oh no. Oh no, he's losing his power. He's losing his power. Not like that. Oh no, not like this. Oh EX, yeah, to the corner. Time to guess. Command throw a DP. Goes for neither. Okay. But yeah, with the standing B there, able to poke out of the corner. Oh. Gotta be careful for that 2C though, it reaches out so far. Yeah. Got him! No EX! Okay, that, you know what? That was smart. That was smart to chase down with the EXM Spider. But if he had the counter hit in mind, he could have went for EXDP. Yeah, you're right, absolutely. Because you can get that juggle off of the counter hit in the air. But still, good quick thinking there from Yurikov, able to catch the rollback. <laughs> Bro, Matt, he really started losing when we changed the flag. <laughs> <laughs> the power got sapped out of him, bro. I don't know. That's what it was, bro. I would have changed my flag to China then. Get the Shao High boost. <laughs> Here we go. Back to order select. 
Looks like we're going to put Clark in the second position here as Massive. Eagle comes through with $15 into the match. Reno, thank you so much for the support. Zam, Zaddy, 15. Let's go. Let's see what we're looking at right now. What we at? We at $62.50. Let's get it up to $70, folks. And oh, thanks for using all the codes. I see the, the codes are claimed, so we much appreciate that. Damn, all the codes used up already. Shouts to everyone watching at home. Yo, which one is the best KOF, guys? This one right now seems KOF 15 is the best, and that's why you should be watching it. And thank you for watching it here with everyone else in chat. Now, let's see if we can start with K-Dash. K-Dash really did not get a chance to play the game last game at all. Oh, no, no, no. But here we go. Able to get that first throw. Immediate DP there from Yurikov, though. Really, I mean, both Clark and K-Dash kind of got blown up, right? Or, excuse me, K-Dash and Yuri. Yeah. Too much heavy lifting for Clark to do. Again, try to challenge with the 5C, but Isla is floating right over it, blowing up the anti-air attempt. There we go. GP on out of our own. Get those plus frames. See, and I was in my mind, I was just saying, Shadow's going to want to opt for 2C with K-Dash, but it's just still slow. Yeah, it, it, the way you mentioned, Yurikov being very floaty, right? So difficult to cash, just taking to the skies so much. And that's kind of difficult for K-Dash to contend with. Clark, on the other hand, though, can definitely be a no-fly zone type of character. Yeah, I mean, we saw just how Shadow handled this matchup last game. So definitely wants to try to replicate that. Putting Clark in the middle, smart decision here. Letting you already have all the resources. And it's that JA, right? The JA is the real difference maker there because you could score that counter hit. It's such a quick normal. You could throw it out while you're rising into the air. If you get that counter hit, you get a free PX tackle. For sure, but he is just getting bombarded right now. Yurikov is doing a good job. And that's it, the stagger pressure again. And I like that. He's been uh, catching Shadow X sleep and trying to go for throw techs, but we are just blowing it up. And Yurikov again, uh, just dominating with the C slip. Oh my God, please no KOF takes in chat. Please, I had enough of it on Twitter, guys. Please. <laughs> oh. Oh, all right. Low C press there from Shadow X. All on the shoulders of Iori here to save our top eight dream for the winner's side. Wow, that lift. Oh my gosh, she's going right over all of And like Iori's pro C is, that's like one of the better, like just neutral hot punishes. We are not seeing it work out. Shadow X down to the Y here, four bars. Can't get a chance to spin. This Isla is just being too much for him, Jobber. Yeah, and it really is just how top happy Yurikov's been. Shadow X hasn't really had a consistent way to shut it down. But there we go. EX Scum Gale. That's going to be a dead Isla. She's dead, for sure. But at what cost? We've got sub 200 health. We have three and a half. Realistically, he would have to kill Mary so fast that he recovers 300 health, meaning he would have to do it within 13 seconds. He'd have to pull a Joe Higashi here, bro. <laughs> and basically. Okay, jab anti-air. He is just like literally, yeah, you have to check all of them. Just one hit from Mary and that'll be it. Don't yell again. I mean, we might be able to make this happen. No way. Oh. Oh. Okay, wake up C. Ooh, okay, hold on. This Close is looking that. a little more doable now for Shadow X here. Down to Mainton Coon. 41 seconds of the clock means we're going to get a nice chunk of health to try and survive this. But still, four bars here on Yurikov's side. You are not out of the danger zone by any means. If he, if he, okay, yeah, never mind. It's yeah, over. you're yep. dead. Level it's one like to level three. <laughs> Wake up, sleepyhead. <laughs> Give it to him. Hiya! <laughs> Man's got blasted with rainbow energy. Let's go. And the young boy with the George Washington hairstyle does it yet again. Yurikov will be advancing into top eight winners. So it's all three characters doing what they desire. Whip, um, you know, it's weird. We were seeing a surge of whips at one point, and I feel like they're kind of they kind of fell off, so you don't see them as often. So this will be a treat here, but another Mexico versus Mexico matchup. Oh, the chase down. I got to get like that. Uh, uh. There we go. Look at the pressure. And that's the problem. Angel does not have any reversals. Only thing she has is a counter super, but 
Again, if that gets baited out, she dies for it. Oh, but that was a good anti-air right there. And we're going to follow up. EX dash in. Hit that elbow. Oh, looks like he dropped what we were going for. Always going to have moving cogs when you're playing on hell. You figure things out. The five C just smash and counter hit again. If Reno was ready, he could have went for DP and got the super, but you know, it's kind of hard to keep tact and everything. Oh, that's going to be it. Didn't want to spend it, but had to spend that extra bar just to make sure. That was a sick confirm. Super delayed. But here comes that LA Lakers Isla. Looking like the California skies right now. Gotta wrap this up quickly. Don't want Yashiro doing anything more than he's already done. Oh, this is gonna hurt. We got the corner too. Oh no. Oh, he missed his forward B. Definitely a common problem there. Me and Van trying to find an opening. Of course, being as evasive as she can, though, as they can. Okay, yep, yeah, that's good. DP into super desperation move. Close that one out before it gets real ugly. Yo, Reno, bro, why are you always playing this song, Reno? It's always you with this song. It's alright, though. I like you, Reno. X marks the spot. Okay. Unique movement option to get over the fireball. Good bait on the Moon Slasher, but the X recovers a lot faster than normal. Wow. Two-way challenge from that far. Yeah, see, you're using the double jumps to get over the Moon Slasher, but again, Reno's recovering in time to get the hit. Oh, this is going to hurt. Wait for it to come on the other side. He's going to suck you up. Give me the money back, girl. Time oh, to to go for the cross-up. Great blocks here, though, from Leonva, but mm. isn't able to block, block the slicer. Yeah, the cross slash just... Always got to be ready for that one. Hydern's always looking for it when it's closer to the end of the round. Just steal it away from you. Absolutely. Got to be on your toes. Here we go, jumping straight into the next character. Mm. Whip, like you mentioned earlier, it's kind of fallen off a little bit. Not in terms of, you know, how strong she is, but just in terms of representation. Yeah, just not as popular. Oh, standing low. That's always a mixed up with Hydern, right? It's like you try to go for throw text. He's got that. Goes to that neutral jump. Wow, the low is able to reach from that far away. Great spacing awareness. CP. And the tricky part is like she can't really do a lot of her hop shenanigans over him because of that. The EX Moon Slasher covers so much ground. Hits from behind and front sneaks in the overhead. Oh my god, we are trying here. Gets caught by a cross up. Reno didn't commit to it though. Oh, okay. That was a big gamble. It does pay off. Leah Van getting a lot of straight hits, but no solid combo to close this out. Oh! That was so close to a huge <laughs> punish. Dude, that fireball is so slow, and it has three uh, hits on it. It's crazy. Still, this is getting... Whoa, we were able to bait out the Moon Slicer, but still not able to get the punish on it. Okay. it was... Bro, this is getting really squirrely, and not in Leon Von's favor. Yeah, what can you do at this point? Yep, X marks the spot and Hyder and takes the first round. The goddess of victory smiles upon the winner. winner! Yeah, I mean, it's like Whip is getting some solid hits, but the way Leon Van has to approach that is scary, right? Because you need to come in from the skies. Whip excels when she's able to use her air movement to trick your opponent into going for cross-ups or staying in front and things like that. And Hyder and a uh, sitting down Hyder is just not going to let you jump in. No, not at all. This character is one of the hardest to approach in general. You mentioned the key reason why, right? It's because that flash, that moon slicer does hit behind, meaning that it's just so difficult to keep hop pressure up against him. It also helps that he's like seven foot ten, right? So you got them long limbs. He can't jump in because his arm is reaching full screen. Oh, oh speaking man. of reaching full screen. <laughs> no, behind your neck says Joshua. Just, you know what? Just pick, pick a C button with this character and it works. All right, doesn't matter. Oh, the pressure. Plus two, plus two, plus two. Angel has no answers against any of that. And player one clinches the first round. Imagine if it was an advancing normal. Good Lord. Hey, he already won SWC. He don't need anything else. <laughs> this character is clearly, clearly strong enough to win the most prestigious tournament for the game. Yeah, if it was an advancing plus normal, we'd have a Shroud situation all over again. <laughs> oh, yo, the Soul 5S? That'd be crazy. <laughs> Not again. Uh, uh. Set. Oh, recent advancing strike. I like the idea there a lot. But look at that Reno brute forcing his way out of the corner. 
Yeah, that would have worked in another player, but Reno again, you know, running Oyastro, they're so grappler pilled that they understand the tech. Ooh, just putting your face down, catching your roll away as well with the far C right into the level two. Oh, lights out! Go to sleep, world star. This is the, this is a world star character, bro. <laughs> Catch Yashiro in the Waffle House. He's got the right jacket on. <laughs> he does. I'm saying. Yo, this song going crazy in the back. What is this? Down the whip. Let's see if the Belmont can do it here. Okay. We've been seeing a lot of those. Later then using the, the EXGP. But again, no solid combo. We have yet to see one. Just straight hits. Which are adding up, but oh so is this. Advancing strike at those plus frames. Wow, able to actually take the corner like that. Yeah, I can't believe it's a haunt Reno though. Mm -hmm. Can't believe we were able to block that. That was nuts. Okay, that's good. That's good. Got the jump in finally. 34 seconds. She's gonna get about 200. But yeah, coming yeah. in against Hydern again. Hydern with nearly three bars on deck. That's gonna be really difficult. That is a lot of EX fireballs, a lot of EX moon slashes as well. It's a lot of resources in general. Kari Warrior team kill too. So cool that all five of them in this game and they're all good. Like they're all pretty solid. Leona's the weakest one, but a lot of that also has to do with her uh, just executionary barrier. Now we just need to buff the rest of the Fatal Furies, do you? <laughs> I'm saying. Uh, Lemon Rhyme, the, the amount of health you get back is determined by the time on the clock. Mm -hmm. The more the more time on the clock, the more health you get. But this is also a very generous KOF in general. They give you a lot of health. That was a sick confirm from Reno. And oh, yeah, where, are you going? Yeah. where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? I think I think even at that point, with that nice tiny chunk of health back, you still would have gotten chipped out if you blocked that. Yeah. How much you have to do? You would have to like frame one, guard cancel roll. So you better aim. wouldn't do that to me. <laughs> you wouldn't shoot me, man. See, it's me. It's Rome. <laughs> Thought we said no bad takes. Wow. I think I'm the only person. Oh, you know what? I'll keep my mouth shut. I'm I'm sitting yeah, side I'm by side in the, in the chat, bro. Yeah, they, they, I'm getting beaten to quote retweets right now. There we go. She's gonna get beat here and gonna advance. Yeah, DP right off the bat. Oh, we are checking. You wanna run it back? Yeah, you can't jump in on Meeting Kun for free. I like that Yuri Call put Meeting Kun up on point. He knows how crazy Somber can be, right? And having access to that flash key for Meeting Kun just like that is mm -hmm. going to put a big sign here saying you have to watch how aggressive you are. Dude, every single time, like we joked, Sombers is not blocking. Literally getting hit by everything. This was the right decision from Yurikov. Yo, Creases Jordan still? No! That's crazy. <laughs> not my Jace. All right, but here we go. Joe coming on in. Yeah, man, you are absolutely correct. Woo, and the call out too with the up fireball. Oh, okay. All right, Yurikov. Big chill, bro. He's. He is playing kind of nuts today, man. We told me he did to Shadow earlier. This might be this might be Yuri's day. Oh, stuffing him at every attempt. We got to confirm. Not gonna spend any resources, but the corner. This could be good, Sombra. If you can, no, yeah, you can't. I was gonna say that. If you can force out the DP and block it, you're good. But it's just hard to do against a charge character. They don't have to commit yep. much, like a regular DP. And the moment that your feet leave the ground, that's all Yurikov's waiting for. For your feet to leave the ground, then he's going to let the DP rip. And so far, you've seen the DP has been the real uh, backbone here of each of these matchups, or at least the care, the player matchup between Yurikov and Sombra. Yeah, he's coming in here finally off the bench. And he's like, good God, what happened? <laughs> Yeah, he's a little different. We we don't have to be jump happy with these, right? He has some of the best, if not the best, buttons in the entire game. Just keeping himself safe on every block string. Yeah, look at that nice counter. You don't often see the low counter from the because it's so formidable. But of course, it worked out in that case right there for Sombra. He jumped in on him though, and Yurikov getting all this extra damage, taking to the corner. One more, Let's do it. Fake throw situation. Oh, we are getting a mix jobber. Thought another throw was coming, was gonna press, and got blown up for it. He looked like me on Super Princess Peach mixing flour and cooking. Yurikov, one game, 
fought to win another. Yo, that game was sick. Y'all should play that game if y'all haven't. Uh, Princess Peach Showtime, my bad. Y'all should play that. But there we go. <laughs> Yurikov dominated performance Good already chat. taking the first one. Chat, get someone that loves you the way that Rome loves Princess Peach, all right? Bro, I am in. I'm madly in love with that lady. <laughs> I, I it's. It, I might need to get that checked out. But uh, here we go. We, we, we just, let's just let's just talk about KOF job. Let's just do that. You're right. You're right. You're right. Help, help me out here. <laughs> Round one. All right, Sabra coming in with the Terry again. Of course, Yuri Cobb's main Tincoon, That DP. We have to figure out a way to play around it. Yeah, I think this is key. Spacing your stuff out, but you ultimately have to bait me Tincoon. And it's just hard to do that. Yurikov has been here. Yeah, you're not going get, to get away with those. All right, the run-up throw. Very nice. Things are looking a lot different here. You see Sombra going for those back rolls, not going for the extra pressure Ooh. because of the threat there of that flash kick. Yeah, you're always going to adapt to that. I can see a dash punch coming very, very soon. What am I saying? <laughs> I'm telling you. I smell it coming. Bro, Mario, Mario can't have a word with Rome, bro. He lives in New York. He's used to throwing hands with Italians. First off, Mario's like four foot one, bro. I'm not. I'm not scared of him. Second of all, Terry Bogar cooking right now. One more hit should do it. Oh, there. That's a challenge. Yeah, and that's what you have to do. Mitsukun has a built-in 50-50, right? Because dash yes. punch, you get the you get the follow-up knockdown. But if your opponent, if the Mitsukun doesn't go for it, you have time to punish with a jab. Yeah, absolutely. That's a huge aspect of it. Now, Terry Abbey will actually come out on top. That is huge here for Sombra now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey! Can Terry oh. take out his girl? Not looking too likely. Not looking good. Okay. Hold on. To the corner. He just needs a big jump in, but Yuri's got some great defense. And that, that's what comes from playing a charge character, right? Even though me, uh, um, Blue Mary isn't a charge, you retain that defensive style from me Tinkoon. So it makes it easier to block certain things. Yeah, absolutely. But now Joe coming in. Joe is the character that Sombra can definitely play a little bit more patient with, right? Because he does have those really strong fireballs. Joe is a really good defensive character on top of that. Whoa! Oh. Yeah, that, that, that was, was a, a weird interaction. <laughs> Definitely was the mistake. We weren't looking for that, but you know what? Sombra gonna continue the combo. That is such a meaty fireball. Good lord. Maxwell back at you. Okay. Yeah. It's been in the extra bar too. We get the climax. Oh, break him up. Nope. No. Interesting. Wondering if he did it on the wrong side. Maybe, Maybe he didn't not come out. Sure. But is able to get the run up throw. Slicer. Spaced out slicer. Yeah, Spacing out, just going for the light slicer there. Yep. Take throw. Oh, just rolls oh. out. This is match point for player two. <laughs> Doesn't want to deal with that at all. One of the things I love about Sombra as well that we didn't mention is uh, he, he he just spends his meter. Mm -hmm. If he's got the meter, he's spending it. He's not too worried about saving meter for the next character because this game does give you meter really fast. Yeah, Sombra's definitely the guy you want to go to the bar with, right? He has no problem spending his cash. He's not going to be like, yeah, bro, play me later. He's like, yo, we're having a good time. I'm going to flex it right now. You're going to see him flex these resources. And this could hurt. Don't know if it'll quite kill, but yep. that is a super desperation move. Big, Look at big that. time damage. Level two immediately. If you got it, spend it. Bates out the DP, and we have a game three. Is this the first game three on stream? I think so. It's all. It's been two O's and OCVs all day. We are closing in right here. Yep, first one, 1-1 a one -one between both players. Absolutely, I am. I'm actually looking back at, you know, the matches that we had, and they have all been 2 of Damn. It's tough out here in these KOF streets, you know? Every single top eight qualifier match was also a 2 of <laughs> That is crazy, crazy, crazy. But that is just the absolute level of play that we are seeing here. These players are hungry. Mm-hmm. I know it's a meme, but there really is a such thing as it's 2-0, but it was close, you know? Yeah, That's especially definitely a thing. thing. Sure. You know, in a lot of cases, you'll have players going down to both anchors, and, like, that is all things considered. You're going through three different health bars, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yep. It's a thing every time I play with something, Cross, so you need to step it up, bro. <laughs> step Cross. Ready? Step Brother yeah. Cross. Yeah. Anyways, here we go. Right, he's, he's the cross who stepped up, okay? <laughs> he's the cross who stepped up. Someone's got to step up here and take control of the set. 
You know, let's see who's going to take control. The first round is always pivotal. You saw that with these two first game, Yurkov dominated with the first round. You saw Terry take out Meeton last time, which enabled for Joe to have a smoother path. So let's see what we can do. Oh, we're whipping standing D. <laughs> Sombra is just sending it. Well, there we go. If we get the two A, yeah, Terry Bogart problems. No confirms off lights. Uh, without going into command normal, that's a clean punish. Doesn't spin the extra, surprisingly. Yeah, now Yurikov a little a little bit more hesitant to throw out the DP now that we have such low life, right? Because Sombra's also going for a lot of, after we get that pressure, we just roll backwards. But this time we go for the CD to get the frame trap. Watch yourself. Good stuff. Sombra Come taking on. that first round. This could be pivotal. It's going to be so funny hearing Terry with an actual English voice actor. Because it's usually just a Japanese guy <laughs> like screaming English lines. Uh, Alright, Rise attack. Be funny. Come through. He still has to say it like him though. Come on! I hope so. <laughs> oh, gets the close C. That is huge power. Guys are into the rising tackle. Already 50% down. Oh, this is it. That's oh, a dead Mary, yeah. It, it is Lord. insane to see this after how dominating Yuri Cobb was in the first game, right? Sabra mm -hmm. was able to reel things back just enough to make Yurikov hesitant to go for a lot of these reversal options. Ugh, all down to Isla. And you know Sombra's like a bit more comfortable in this matchup. And I, I like the idea of just being aggressive for the sake of making your opponent spend their resources. Because if she comes in with Joe, it's like to fight Joe with any without like with any resources, excuse me, it's gonna make it a lot easier for Sombra. Oh, a lot of <laughs> command dash pressure here. Mm. Throw him, yeah. yeah kill him. Oh. No way, Yurikov oh. might be flustered with a drop like that. Yeah, unfortunate drop, but still able to bring it back without taking any extra damage and able to get the kill right there. Terry's down, but we still got to get through Joe. Yeah, we went from five bars to one and closing in on two. Joe coming in with the... Uh... Oh, he's got, he's got everything he needs to get that one hit. Don't Just jump. about getting it. Uh-oh. Ah, oh my no. god, dude, everyone is falling for that tonight. No! Oh, gotta drop. no! Yeah, I think we were probably going to try and go for as close of a stun combo as we could off of that Shatter Strike there, but that was a huge drop. Mm -hmm. Rikov got a second chance at life. Has to take that uh, that drop from Sombra into account here. That, oh, the stagger, but doesn't finish the combo. Oh, Nash and DP out of hit stun. Oh. Shadow Strike, this is good. Knockdown, is he gonna land into it? Yeah. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of scaling on this, so it isn't gonna kill. That's so much scaling. Stays in front, good option from Yurikov. Now he's going to need every right decision. Geese has access to two level threes, one of them being a, a one frame command grab, the other one being a solid anti-air, not to mention his counter super. So Yurikov is gonna have to navigate this water very, very nicely. On top of that, five bars, you're dead. Well, you know, never mind. You, you could just get wake up palmed into oh, everything. You didn't even have to do the Raging Storm, bro. That was just to add insult to injury and Sombra moves on to winner's finals. Cue the Simpsons meme of Wrath. <laughs> Stop it, she's already dead. <laughs> Not gonna lie, when I saw five bars and I saw Yurikov's help, I speaking of Orochi though, we do have Orochi Yashiro coming in. This character is an absolute menace to under the radar in every balance patch. Oh, they don't be talking, man. Like, they gonna learn now. Grash boy looking good, man. He's been making a lot of improvements, becoming stronger and stronger in a lot of these online tournaments. Can't can out, can out, excuse me, uh, Fernandez as well. Yeah, Fernandez, of course, coming in with the Strawberry Kiwi Benimaru. The worst the color, Benimaru. Hate this color. It's like the worst one. Shit! Oh, we got that good, that good, uh, that soccer team, 97. I see you, oh, yeah. baby. Thank you. It's a good year. And that's going to close out Geese as well. Ooh. Clean work, clean work there. Getting a lot of the health back as well for Fernandez. Just a really solid round all together. Oh, there he is with the classic Orochi color on too. Get that representation in there. Uh -huh. Two bars too, good God. I mean, not that Orochi Yashiro even needs it. He only needs one, right? So, yeah. Oh, yeah. And here we go, he's about to spend that bar as well. 
I mean, the crazy thing is that he, he gets comparable Oki to Hydern, right? I think Hydern and Orochi Yashiro probably have the strongest Oki in the game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, constant mix, getting tossed around like a bad habit. This should be it without the additional resource needed. Mm -hmm. Looking like he was in New York there for a second. Oh, man. Dude, it was it was interesting yesterday. I didn't expect that. I woke up. I'm like, huh? What's the ground shaking? Is that fart? What's going on? It was cool though. It was nice. Oh, here we go. What a trade there. That could have been huge for Thrash Boy if we just got that 2C clean. Yeah. Oh no, yeah. Thankfully, Fernandez did not whiff punish that if you're Thrash Boy. Another big whiff C. You gotta be careful, bro. Not sure it will make it hurt. Both players just trying to find that big hit. Oh no. Wow, he started that with a light? Yeah, he showed every normal, every normal again. And it's gonna close it out. Well, that was a, that was kind of a whack punish, but we still were able to close it out. That's the most important thing. <laughs> yeah, Love I mean, boy. he still does so much damage, right? So it's like, it, not that it doesn't matter, but it's just like, I, it does so much. Yeah. yeah I, I think it was going for the safe bet, right? Like, what if we couldn't get close enough in time to get a close team punish, right? You wanted to make sure you got some kind of a punish. If Thrash Boy was 100% correct for that, just like they're 100% correct here to go for the super. Oh, we're dead. Yeah, we are absolutely dead. I think you can do climax if you want to, just to make sure. Okay, you know what? That's fine. I respect it. Not making us watch that full movie. We're going to go to game two. Oh. Man, Orochi Yashiro, an absolute force to be reckoned with. He's got the Captain Crunch drip on right now, but yeah, he definitely, definitely a force to be reckoned with. He's got the Crunch. He's gonna crunch your bones. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me that's not that's chat. That's the Captain Crunch fit, right? Hold up. Come on, I Captain be. Crunch. So <laughs> lost I've seen this man. I gotta look him up. Google images. You ain't <laughs> <laughs> Bro, Captain Crunch, the original member of the Orochi clan? That's crazy. Insane, bro. Dude. That's lore right there. Orochi Crunch. I'm saying that might be it. Connecting the dots here. All right, but it's back to Geese versus Benny Maru now. <laughs> oh, crunch. <laughs> okay, yeah, mix it in the heavy slash in the push frame. And we did see this Benny Maru start off hot last time. It was just the Orochi Yashiro with the, with the uh, comeback from the team for Thrash Boy. Yeah, we can keep it going. Fade away jump shot. Mm, good five nice. Yeah, waiting also to make sure you catch on the other side. Mm. Oh, Toothy just throws it out. It's a good one, and we're ready for that DP punish right there. Not that time, though. Oh, that's, yeah. Yeah. Dude, he got anti-aired and jumped again. That's crazy. Well, he was predicting the fireball to come out, right? That was a hard call out on the fireball, and it worked out beautifully there for Fernandez. I love the decision making. You're not gonna let one situation force me into a different mindset. I'm gonna commit to what I want to do, and if it works, it works. Oh, cross up jump B. Oh, right into the EX fireball. We are blinking right now. Yo, oh, Yashiro looking like S for stun Yashiro. Not gonna matter. Yeah, and wow, just a complete turnaround from Fernandez here, going from losing Benny Maru to on the verge of an OCV. Just has to go up against the brick house here, Rio. Oh, yeah. All the resources to do it. It is Rio Sakazaki. One big hit. You got to be careful. Any trade, anything leads to EX juggle right now. Whoa! No, he didn't challenge it. Yeah, no attempt at a punish was kind of crazy there, but that's all right. Still alive, looking healthy, and not going to get a massive punish. But just sends it again. <laughs> doing it again. You can't convince me otherwise. Oh, that's big. No, it wasn't deep enough. He desperately needs to hit. The longer this goes on, the more in favor. It's not for Thrax Boy, but that's a good... No way! Oh. In all an era. Yeah, you have to... So the way I do that, oh, you're dead. You're actually dead. Yeah, you're dead. But, man, I was going to say, so, because that happens quite a bit on player two side, um, I noticed. I mean, I play 
are dabble real. And like, if your input is not clean enough, you will get the DP. The trick is the minute you do the this close C, you want to do forward close C and then back forward C again. That's like the best way yeah. for that to come out. It's so difficult there, you know, when you have those inputs overlapping each other like that. Yeah, good God. But I mean, either way, even if we didn't drop that input, it was still a really uh, uh, tall mountain to climb, right? For Thrash mm -hmm. to make that reverse OCB in that scenario here. Let's see, though. Game number three. No way. All right, jumps right to the Raijuken. Game three. This is losers too, so somebody is gonna go home permanently. The other will move on to face off against every other demon in this bracket. Ooh, Ooh. let me grab you up. First command grab of the set, right time to use it. Uh, command grab right into the punk kick will never get old. <laughs> if you don't know that, they, they, they could be at an internet cafe. You don't know that. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh, double Rapuken, okay. <laughs> <laughs> they could be playing this on their Google Stadia port. The oh! But the Shadow Strike Frame Trap able to come through. A lot of damage off of that Shadow Strike confirm as well. Yeah, that was massive. And to the throw, and Thrash Boy needs this. He has not won the point war yet. That's gonna send a really, really good message if he pulls out this uh, Benny Morrow. But for anything, tries to four B. Oh, slip yeah. and slides into the fireball. Really unfortunate there with that back roll. But, I mean, we were able to do a lot of damage there to Fernandez in that first round. Oroshi Yashiro could close things up without even spending any meter here. Mm -hmm. and I think that's what we're looking to do, right? We're looking to try and close this out without spending any meter if we possibly can to save it going into Rock Howard. Oh, what a hitbox on that. He's punching behind him. All right, Rock Howard uh, has not done a damn thing in this set. And we need uh, this character to do some work here. Wow, okay. Forward B just in neutral like that for the whip punish. All right, let's take firm. Okay, big hit that we're going to need. Good. I'd like to take the situation from Fernandez. Staying in. Trying to force a bad move, but Drax Boy's did. Drax Boy's defense was looking clean until that last hit. Not everyone can block forever, though. Oh, wow, but still, it's the hit with that hot speed D or the neutral jump CD, I should say, into the throw. Damn. Rock heard me. I said, Rock ain't do nothing this set. And he said, what? All right, I took that personally. <laughs> Good stuff. Dash ways down to his anchor reel. Hopefully, no bad input on like that again. Mm. The guard gauge. All right, patience there after the guard cancel. Also, make sure that you don't whiff and get punished. Now has to figure out a way out of this corner. Try to do side standing D, but didn't quite work. It's gonna been another one. It's gonna roll. Yeah, Fernandez realized he was getting a lot of straight hits there. Clean jump into parry does not cancel off of it, and this is gonna hurt. Just a drop left. How fast we're gonna make this comeback? He needs to find this hit now and get things started. But Fernando is playing at a great range. Oh! Fireball. Guard gauge. You yeah. know what? That's a okay. And he's gonna get the ex super. You have to. Oh! <laughs> Just massive damage, Jobber. Good lord. That's what he does best here. This is the dragon. Is. You're already trying to drag him across the floor, though. It's still going to be a tough comeback. Fernandez does not need to make any big risks. Sit back, throw out your fireballs, get that trade there, and closing it out, eliminating Thrash Boy from the bracket. Yeah, jump D snipe right in time, right before the fireball was able to land. So good stuff. And like you say, yeah, he Isla dealing with how hop happy Yuri Kov's Isla was. So now we're going to get to see it in a different matchup here up against Yuri. Yuri can also be a really hop happy character too. We'll see how it plays out. Yeah, gonna have to pick the right spots to jump. And you see, Shadow's gonna go a lot for those uh, just jump demons and like neutral jump demons, jump back demons to just catch Yuri. There it is, the same brain cell. CD B C D. Ooh. Trade's gonna matter for uh, 
Kate Ash right now and get the health lead. Yo, I got one too, baby. Six, two, three. Yo, <laughs> running it back. Bro, the double album again? <laughs> Stick stuff. Yo, is this like one of those uh, AMVs I'm, I'm watching, bro? This is crazy. Oh, with the standing C immediately into this into the DP was buffering that. Get it in. Shut up. Oh, the cross up and the. Oh, you're dead. Yeah, you're dead. It's Yuri. It's Yuri Sakazaki. You are dead. Yeah, right into the Izuna drop. That's how you know that's Rio's sister, man. The amount of damage she does. Mhm. Mm She's got that blood. She's got, she's got the uh, Kyoko Genryu blood in her veins. Takuma's definitely happy. He's like, oh, my kids are hard. <laughs> oh. That was a really hard to tell which side that actually hit on, right? Yeah, it was tricky there. Wake up, yeah, there's the high low from Clark. Just gonna get a lot of that help, man. What we got coming in? Andy? All right, Andy Bogart. See what we can do. We want to use the fireballs, but Clark has a uh, solid ways of dealing with zoning, right? I mean, he has a great hop, and just the fact that he has to step dash into is just close the gap. Shulken. Oh, that was yep. the right time. Yeah, you can't get too fireball happy against Shadow X. Oh. It's gonna hurt here. Doesn't have the extra meter for the extension, but we are gonna go right for DDT, keeping you in a constant state of flux. Time to guess yet again. Stays in front. We are guessing wrong completely, man. Right to the machine and gun punches to close out the round. The thumbs up. <laughs> Letting you know everything's okay. We got my on anchor. All right. Could definitely work out. I like this matchup quite a bit for my. Yeah, you just kind of have to sit back and play that more long range game, right? Not not what's happening right now, allowing Shadow X just <laughs> to stay close. Third knockdown, yeah. Just wake up roll. Sometimes that's not a bad idea. Just, just get away from it. Oh, and just jumping right on top of these fans. There it is. Counter hit into the EX tackle. RDL. Yeah, we're seeing the nerfs here from Mai's Hop CD. I remember it was like 12, it was nine frames. I think it's 11 or 12, nine, uh, 12 now. Not too sure. We got the low confirm. This is uh, needed, but you have to dump it all. Just gonna go for one. That's okay. Hopefully we guess right this time. Oh, mm, and okay. there we go. Punishing the landing with the far C. Nice stuff there from Luis Cha. Still staying alive, but it's looking really difficult here. You have to go up against the Ori. One touch, level two fireworks. Mm, it's all she wrote. Mm -mm. Yeah, for sure. Literally one confirmed, and we're turning into Jubilee from X Men. Fireworks all over the place. <laughs> see if we can get that. Now, at this point, too, you have to watch out for the EX Scum Gale. That should be enough to get oh. the kill, but the empty low into Quick Max is going to be just enough to do it. Shadow X is going to take game <laughs> one here in this loser side. That was cute. The one Rekka, and it goes into DP. I've never seen that one. That was that nice. A nail -biter. Keep an eye on this looking Shadow good, X. Looking... Yeah, man, he is. <laughs> You mastered being an idiot. Now stop wasting my time. Bro, he's brutal. Everyone's <laughs> brutal in this game. Everyone's just a jerk. <laughs> just assholes. K Terry is the nicest guy. He's like, hey, man, you lost, but don't worry. There'll be another KOF tournament. Yori is like, die, monster. <laughs> you don't belong in this world. <laughs> what is a tournament? Shadow X up the first game. Luis Bullish. Cha. See if we can make these uh, necessary adaptations. First game started off, I mean, the first round, I should say, started off really well, but again, Clark just uh, being the, uh, the party stopper, right? No fun zone. Oh, yeah, that huge whip. Not only is 2C a little slow, I mean, the whip recovery on it is crazy for K Dash. Yeah, you're in, it doesn't help, right? You're in jump arc. Just one of the more annoying jumps to contest in the game, so it's just helping her out. Oh, but this time, yeah, immediately just mashing on that 2A. No, the back dash is actually going to get Shadow X killed. Good snipe from Louis Cha. Yeah, man, I mean, Shadow X is K-Dash tonight, or this afternoon. Just not what we normally see from him. Yeah. Not performing well. But don't worry, Clark is here. Put the team on his back. Has no problem doing that. We got wide back. That's a big one. Plenty of room for that. 
Oh, oh the frame kill on the JA lands right into the backbreaker. This time goes for the close B. Yeah, try to open up Louis Shaw. Louis didn't, didn't bite. You see him now just trying to find that right time. But it's so hard to contest like Clark's jump normal. Jump A is it's a war crime, dude. It's terrible. But we are getting these trades though, and now starting to run that offense. Oh no! Didn't measure the distance correctly there from the far C. DDT, fake the snake. Life comes at you real fast when you eat that that backhand. Like you can just see it, just you know, leaving your body, your soul, your spirit, just a Crash Bandicoot death, right? Like your body just Whoa. flying away. <laughs> Andy really needs to perform. That was the chance, but it didn't land. Oh, come on, dude. How God, optimal dude. are you, bro? <laughs> that confirm was insane at the absolute max range hitting that JB. Yeah, crazy stuff. We're seeing it again. Luis Shaw just unable to get the zone going with this Andy. That's gonna be it. That's death. Golden Death Cradle. Adrenaline in my soul. Oh, that's a dead Andy Bogard. I know there's a line, <laughs> but I couldn't find anything else. Don't hold me to that chat. We're down to the anchor yet again. My needs to do this if Louis Chaw wants to stay alive in this bracket. He's got every single bar in the world. We got to make it happen. Oh, my God. But again, the 2C, 5C, 2C. They've been such huge buttons for Shadow X. Got to jump in with those jump Bs, man. It's definitely uh, missing opportunities to get a punish on the way down. Yeah, there's a nice trade, though. Going to be in Luis Chaw's favor. Gets the low into the EX. Just goes hard for the corner carry. Yeah, I wanted the hard knockdown on the Ninja Bees. But we got to convert it to big damage. I'd rather you go into the Siori match. That's a good one. Okay. Yeah. Send it all. Yeah, Kakeo don't know mine. And I love that. Rolling backwards to create some space here. Sending out the fans. Don't need to do anything too fancy. There it is, 2B. Yeah, sick low profile. This is good. Coming into this final round even better. It's not a, it's not a foregone conclusion. We can actually run this back. Ready? Go! Ooh. Ooh, that was kind of cute there. Even cuter landing immediately into the super. Ooh, good option select there from what we saw. Deadly Ninja Bees catching the back. Oh, we're going for the, the nasty stuff now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bro, this character in the corner, she is a menace. Yeah, full on ninja. I like it. Oh, no! Oh, the bad roll again. And I think. I don't want to say she's dead, but this is going to... No, no, I'm not dead. Yeah. Oh, right, chat room. Yeah. Right, chat is room. He... Not dead. Is it going to kill? No, no. no. She alive. Not anymore, though. His <laughs> answer was to wake up to be mad. That's so crazy. I Hey, you know what? It's worked before. Play that fireball game and have access to that flash kick as well. Mm -hmm, just a counter attack. But then, like, we know that Reno likes to play Hydern. Wouldn't point Hydern be, like, a better pick? You would think. It could be. But you know what? Reno's in winner's finals, bro. So I, I'm not going to second guess his decision making. This guy can get it done. He knows what it comes down to. And already the jump back CD to call out the heavy burn knuckle. We're seeing all of this oh stuff God. coming for Witchin right here. But yeah, that's the problem with the uh, Ash, right? Because it's a charge character. Punishes like that, you you have to be already holding down to get it. So, oh, but you can see the the kisses of death there and the fireballs really stopping Sombra in his tracks. I'm starting to, mm -hmm. you know what? I see the vision. I see the yep. vision. I see the vision. It's a little blurry due to these green flames, but we are cooking. Reno taking the first round decisively. Yeah, it worked out perfectly there. Full health coming back for Ash. It's gonna be a little bit more difficult, I think, going up against the Joe. Yeah. yeah Joe's got fireballs too, right? And it is some of the best. He actually sends out three tornadoes, just giving him extra time. But look, we are just playing this run away game, sliding right underneath the fireball this time. Yeah, and that was a really smart decision from, uh, oh, we're gonna capitalize off the counter in CD. So, gonna spend it? Yeah. It's fine. Shoot around. No jumping. You can't do that. No, not at all. Not when Ash is holding down back. There it is. Quick max confirmed. 
You know, I like this a lot, actually. We're not playing the Ash for the Sans Colette. We're just playing Ash, right? We're just using what makes him work. And sometimes not having additional meter can help that out, but we are gonna get opened up here from the Jill opening, the jump in, and that's gonna be a double DP. Yeah, I mean, Ash still did uh, plenty of work and then some, right? Being able to mm. put down Joe a peg. I mean, it's like, you know, the, the narrative I was trying to go with is like sometimes when you think when you think too much on a certain move, you're trying to play to that move versus playing the character. Uh, and that could be to your detriment, so. Ooh. Yeah, it's going to be hard to contest Hydra in the air with that jump C. Ooh, no, no. That was almost a huge punish. But yeah, again, Arito just playing kind of a similar way to Ash, you know, backing up, playing more of that zoning style, waiting for a mistake from Sombra and capitalizing. Mm -hmm. Ready, go. Go. Yeah, Sombra looking Ooh. <laughs> guard point. Very rarely seen guard point there. Yeah, he used to have guard point on the EX version and they took it out, thankfully. <laughs> Good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, predictable. Keeps the corner, but nice Abari from Reno. He's gonna get all of this extra back, plus throwing them back into the corner too. No way. He got the landing standing low, the blow up the super, the counter super, which is not as active. It's not that good, but Reno takes the first game pretty well with this high throw. Yeah, very great stuff, but still that is one game out of three to move on to Grand Finals, which means that Sombra is going to have plenty of time to make some adjustments here. And making that adjustment against the Ash, I think, is going to be the big change that we need. Yeah, that Ash just, like, really came in and kind of put a hush over a lot of us. A lot of the chat was even questioning, like, Ash on point? You know, Port Gay, right? No meter, no, no extra bar to get you know the job done but he did show that just basic zoning skills i mean ash's fireball is very good i like that he was using the heavy fireball too because of the delay on it it can act as a as a delayed anti so maybe we'll see more of that oh, sombra contesting with a dp oh gotcha now didn't get it but this is yeah. good you gotta keep Ash Cage chasing down to a corner and don't let him out. And this is a sizable health lead from before. It's just a matter of maintaining right now. Good jump in from Reno. Again, another one. No jumping, sir. No fly zone. Stay grounded. That was the right time. Guard cancel rolls through the fire and flames. And he's gonna take that one. Sombra, much needed turnaround. Huge turnaround for sure, Roman. Here we go. Now closing the distance on Hyder and able to get that throw. And this is what I'm talking about. Like, it feels like when Sombra plays in these really high level matches, game number one, they really struggle. But the adjustments. The adjustments are so incredible and they're not obvious adjustments they're very tiny ones that just throw the opponent off the game yeah that's what it's all about right that's what ideally that's what you want to do as a player if you lose the first game you're supposed to take time to figure out okay this didn't work in the first round but this did work maybe we put more emphasis on that and maybe we downsize what was getting us killed and let's see right now we we're at the mid versus mid match so Obviously going to work out better for Sombra, but he's got to check those anti airs and you see that Hydra just jumps right back in. Right? Oh, he, whoa, wait a minute. So the fireball actually messed up Hydra's uh, wall splat with the EX yeah. ray gun. That was sick. I don't think I've ever seen that interaction before. That was funny. <laughs> oh, yes, I was, I was wondering. I'm like, I know you got it. Exactly, right? Just have to have those reactions on deck. You can't throw out those fireballs for free. There's the meaty fireball coming through. I love Sombra's OP. He has the right time and space for everything, but not that. <laughs> Down the geese again. Oh, but we try to throw out our own super to blow up the fireball here again. 
That works. You just got to be a frame or so faster. No 2C again. He's not uh, checking those jumps, and that's what's going to get you killed by Hyder. Also, this confirm is going to hurt. Puts us again in another close to death situation here from Marino. Oh, oh, yeah, this is not looking good. Jumps right into the fireball. Every oh, it counts, and there it is. Give him the stock. Send him to game three. Dude, this character is broken. <laughs> like, why is Hyder not talked about as much? I get it. Isla, Geese, Benny, Rio. Trust me, I know. But this character is absolutely insane. There's there's so many insane characters in KOF 15. That's what makes this top tier like or like this version of the game so incredible because the top tiers there's one so many of them and two they feel so close together when it comes to you know placements. Mm -hmm. The only ones right. you would really put high like maybe and they're not even that high above the rest, right? Would yeah. be like Geese, Hyder, and Isla or Rio. He's hiding Isla. Yeah, I mean, it's just like a tear above, but I see what you mean. Like, the gap is very close, and that's what makes for an interesting KLF. It's like that was an interesting choice to go for the, the power dunk there. Well, he, he was predicting some kind of a reversal, right? Even if it was a DP, just trying to armor through it. Ooh, this is gonna hurt. Follow up as well, and this is looking more like the song we're used to seeing, right? Power dunk guard point again. He loved to do that before. Finally gets you to let to let the DP rip and punishes you for it. Yeah, and now, all right, true. go get the hat. <laughs> go run and grab it. I mean, luckily we're like in an insane asylum right now with this training stage, so there's this a ceiling. So the hat's not going too far. Go find it. You're right. That's, like that's being... what I fully really believe now, is when the, when the screen goes black, he runs and gets the hat. <laughs> he just runs and grabs it. Probably acts as Joe. Joe, can you get that for me? Oh, the standing D. Big old foot roll. The range. Too far. Still, this is uh, not bad for Sombra. He slowed things down. Like you said, he he always finds those necessary adjustments. He's going yeah. to need to uh, figure it out a little faster. We still, I mean, it's a three out of five set, thankfully, not two out of three. Yeah, and he's playing this really well. He's not taking any risk and just slowly but surely whittling down Reno's health, right? And if he ends up losing Terry here, so be it. He already took down Ash, and he's done so much damage. Oh, power charge, Griffin. Looks like he tried to... It looks like he knew that Reno was going to go for yeah. back roll, and he tried to time the power charge to meet, like, meaty, but just didn't get a chance to. I think that was 100% the idea, but Terry definitely did plenty of work here, and now Joe can hang back, play that patient game, play that zoning game against Hyder, and force him to come in and interact. Oh, got the low anti-air. This is good. Should be able to wrap this up. Ooh, no, we don't spend it. <laughs> Bust out EX slash. Slash a kick. The big boot. I wonder how he does that. Like, how is he gliding on the ground? Was he like, it's like he's driving the car in the, in the Flintstones. Like, just going forward. I don't know how he does that. Reno with the patented Bumblebee Yashiro. Hit. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. What do, you, what do you mean, bro? This is totally real. Real people can shoot tornadoes off their hands. Yeah, but you never seen it? Come on. Yeah. You're lacking, bro. You're living in the fantasy world. I live in a real world where people get tossed on their head. You might see right now. Oh, okay. Trying to go for the kick there. Not gonna quite work. But now we're trying to create space. The jump in is clean here from Reno. Uh oh. Level one. Yeah, this is how it starts. Bop, bop, bop. <laughs> Catches oh. the roll away. And that is a dead Joe. Level one should be enough. Yeah. Yeah, it's it. It's it. You get one chance. <laughs> it's not like no scaling on it. Mm -hmm. And despite the health difference that you got to see right here, it's still very much an even game. Reno just needs two openings, just like that last one. Yeah, but those openings might be a little bit harder to find against a character as safe as Geese. Yeah. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I mean, you know, here's a good start, right? <laughs> uh, here we go. Let's see. 
rolls again. Oh. Yeah, he tried to go for the chase down again. It just wasn't quite quick enough. And there we go. Sombra able to finally put a point on the board. Patience there run. paid off. These two know how yeah, to that's uh, definitely a much needed clap back for him. Just to keep him in the saddle, right? Keep him in his winner side. Because okay. Reno, Reno winning this and going to grand finals, it's like, who's going to beat him six games? So. Yeah, that is definitely uh, one of the tallest mountains that you can climb in Kenya Fighters. Yeah, it's going to be a tough one. But Reno's still up two games. He's still in control of the set. He can very well win this, make it a 3-1. Sombra looks like we're finding that confidence. We got the adaptations with Terry early on. We saw how he dealt with Ash. And again, you know, if that run back happens, let's say Sombra wins this, Reno can always go back to the character select and swap in uh, regularly. Ooh, okay. Big jump in already. Look at the damage. Terry Bogart does not need me to hurt you. Oh, standing D right to the dome. Yeah, meter for Terry is merely a decision, bro. He doesn't need it. It's merely a choice. Hey. Oh, I like trying to go for the power wave there. Nice jump over the fireball, too. Oh, almost got the bad roll. Look at his timing, too. He is properly top seed over every one of those fireballs. That's pivotal in this matchup. I think Reno's just been a little too predictable with the rhythm of them. Mm -hmm. He definitely got obvious. <laughs> Crazy stuff. Round start heavy. Got him get the power dunk. He's right back in there. Look at and the, the options he's doing, right? Because, like, Burn Knuckle covers anti airs. Oh. oh, yeah, what are you back rolling for, sir? You gonna spend all of this here. Bust the wolf. Bro is not okay. <laughs> and we are trying to cook up a Terry OCV in winner's finals here of TNS. One more character to go. Sombra figuring it out. You see an AI develop in real time. It's scary. <laughs> Pushing to the corner, stays in front again. Every single time, those jump Ds, he's been just faking the cross up. So you know when he goes for it, he might actually connect. Crack shoot. Yeah, even Reno's a little perplexed right now. He's trying to figure out how to yeah. navigate. I mean, it's so difficult, right? He, he feels so unpredictable just with the, the level of offense that is coming out. Mm -hmm. Oh, that could have been it. Yo, I'm oh throwing God. the ultra max mode. And I, like I said, the one time he goes for the cross-up jump D, it lands. That's what we call conditioning, folks. Absolutely. It's those micro adjustments that Sombra makes. In the very first game, Reno went wild. And that's what I've been, that's what we've both been saying all mm -hmm. afternoon, Rim, all bracket. Game number one for Sombra, it's data, it feels like. Yeah, I mean, it's a great way to play. It's it's expensive data in a way, right? Because you don't want to give away two games, right? Like, you yeah, definitely yeah, yeah. want to win this in a comfortable way. One game, for sure, but two games. And we're seeing that now. We're driving it down to the final set, folks. One of these players is going to advance, put themselves in guaranteed top two. The other will have to call themselves back to top three. And uh, let's see how it goes. Are we going to wait it out? Look at the time. I'm telling you, the spacing and timing. He is so optimal with his jump ins. Chase down the back dash with a burn knuckle, and there's the guard break. Okay, able to get the throw, wake up, set up the kiss of death. Bro, we woke up with close seats. <laughs> Haymakers, buttons, just doing it all, and he actually. Uh, he takes out the ash, so this is good. One, like I said, started out losing the point war, and then he just won the last three. Sombra trying to two peak this weekend. Go for trying to. Yeah, yeah, he's not trying to commit too much, but we do get a jump in from Reno. He's going to help one too many normals into max mode, so we're not going to do as much damage, but still solid enough. This is where we have to start making our comeback, though, right? 
Oh, now yeah. take down Terry without taking any damage here to Hyder, and that's currently looking like it's going to be a possibility. We have Sombra locked down. Moving back, though, just giving up all that mm. faith, and that's exactly why. We were trying to look for a jump. Yeah. Much needed with that burnt, with that uh, EX Moonslasher. Let's get Terry out of here, but we do have Joe. And again, having the three bars means he comes in with a guaranteed fireball punish. You see him looking for it. <laughs> he was waiting back there for a bit. Nice. Daring him to jump. Oh, got the jump in. The maybe, one time. Yeah, maybe dared him a little too hard there. Hold oh, up. no way. Another drop. I think we dropped it in the same exact point that we dropped it before. Yeah. The problem was he was like just right outside of range and he didn't get the proximity close. He uh, he ended up getting far D instead. So he did it right. It was just the game. He wasn't so close. Uh, sneaks in a regular overhead, does Reno, and we're right back to just throwing out hitboxes, trying to catch Joe advancing. Oh my god! That was crazy there. Just a little light confirm. Nothing too major, but that's alright. No DP! He's not uppercutting Reno! No, he's got to be oh, oh, Look at that. Sombra's timing is so good, Jobber. Just waiting, waiting for the right opportunity there to jump in over these fireballs. Got him. Yeah, good stuff. Very good patience from a player that we know to just be, like, not patient at all. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the, the, the goal right here, you just want to take what you can off Yashiro. Not that it's going to matter. He's getting that all back. Yeah, looking really good. And this is it. <laughs> final game, final round. They are nearly dead, even in meter and in health. Yeah, someone's got to go down. Something's got to give. Go to break dance? <laughs> just bust it out. I'm spinning Rooney, bro, the five time? <laughs> I'm gonna hit the oh, phone. the patience trying to go for a little bit of a shimmy there. It's blocked, but there's the 2C. Oh, yep, time to guess. This could get real ugly for Sombra. If he does not flip his coin correctly, you might be. Okay, he does. Never mind. He does get it in. That was much needed. And it's still anyone's game here. Meter for both players. Oh, get gripped out of the air. EX Super should be enough to do the job. It looks like Reno's gonna go into this grand finals on the winner's side. Oh wait, no, he's alive still. Hold on. Yeah, oh, he wait. is absolutely alive. Oh, oh, no, no, no. oh never mind. <laughs> I thought he was gonna have just a tiny bit of health back, but again, Yashiro, Orochi Yashiro coming through with the supers that have no scaling. <laughs> Catch up right now. Feast your eyes as it's going to be your loser semis, Yurikov and Shadow X. A run back of earlier Shadow X definitely Holy wants to win this, man. He lost pretty badly to Yurikov earlier. I think it was uh, almost a double OTV by Isla. Uh, so yeah, you definitely don't want that to happen. But here we go. Brutal, but right now, Kadash looking a lot better than we've seen him so far at all tonight. Yeah. Definitely hasn't been able to cook. And we're seeing this happen right now. Let's get it going. Well, before, interesting interesting thing to know is that before when they played against each other, it was Isla on point. Yurikov this time bringing in the one sleepy boy up to bat here against Kadash. Yeah, and Yurikov, he's known for that. Like, he'll, even if he's winning, sometimes he'll go to character uh, scorer switch and switch his character uh, just to keep him guessing. Right now, though, we are getting blown up. Don't need to guess because we've got the solid confirm from Shadow X. Oh, the music? Yeah, this is. Don't say nothing, chat. I think this is Rock versus Geese theme. Father versus son, huh? There's the empty jump. Tries to go for the throw. Nice tech though from Shadow X. Gets sent right into the corner with the big boot. Yeah. Yeah, the frame trap from Yurikov. This is good. Yeah, we're going to go right into level three. Get him out of here. Fight over. There it is. Cesaro swing. Wing! Swing! Oh, you know how it is, Minty. Yeah, we're just nerds out here. 
Rome is Rome is the uh, the SNK jukebox. I'm the Arc System Works jukebox. Mm -hmm. Yo, I actually have some plans for a YouTube series I want to do, but we'll talk about that off off stream. Yeah, gets right that now. juggle off the counter hit into oh, yeah, the low. Yeah, Clark going off right now. DDP for days. Oh, nice. Escaping from the command grab there. Yurikov able to swipe back. Catches the jump in with the C. Okay. No, trade again. Why does everyone say hands off? <laughs> hands off. You can look, but you can't touch. Ooh, there we go. EX tackle rolling. Death Cradle. Now your back is up against the wall. Able to block the empty low, but you can't block the command grab. <laughs> He got tired of a block and he was like, screw this. I'm going in with the grab. Enough this blocks for you. Die in your black air forces. That's crazy. Oh, yeah, this is the Shune vs. Kukri theme. I, my bad. I'm a liar. Don't know anything. Yeah, Sorry, I, got, right. I got one wrong a couple weeks ago, too, on Monday. <laughs> I just knew it was like a versus character theme. Bro, oh, an empty jump command grab. Gets the EX tackle. RDL again to put you as close to the corner as possible. And we're keeping that space. Just enough space to try and catch Yurikov jumping out, but it's not going to work. Oh. Grips her again. Yurikov. Okay, caught the bad roll. And this is going to work out. I wonder if he's going to spin that additional bar. I still don't think even with that, it won't be enough. Yeah. A hard knockdown, definitely the right idea. To save what resources we can, we have to try to force a final round here. But counter, counter for days. Oh, and then we just immediately go for the turn punch. We were trying to go for something big there, but another trade this time going to be in Yurikov's favor. Mm. All right, final round. <laughs> that was like the slowest jump ever, dude. I felt like I could see the frames. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying. <laughs> Bro had the moon shoes on. Oh, but there's the quick max punish. Send out the fireworks. And Shadow X clapping back with game one. Yo, Bro did the Virtua Fighter 1 moon jump. <laughs> He's reaching. So I hope we get uh, some news on that new Virtua Fighter soon. I hope, bro. More than Maria. And Shadow X looking good. Again, like we said, you know, the much needed. A clap back, so if you will. Like, like he got dominated by Yurikov earlier. And uh, if he makes this adjustment, this would be good. You never want to lose to the same person twice in practice. Never. Yeah, absolutely not. It's one of the worst feelings you could possibly get. Also, yeah, yeah. Cal Calcula, yeah. That's, uh, that's a crazy take because I wear Air Forces. They are not mid. Damn. <laughs> this is called my whole wardrobe mid. That's insane. Yeah, we got the order switch as expected. Well, let's see how the order switch is going to play out. Round one. Oh, order switch from Shadow 2. Okay, putting yeah. Clark on point. Yeah, the good thing about Clark and, and other grapplers with uh, one frame command grabs is like, you don't have to respect dash punch. The minute you block the first hit, you can just go into command grab. Whether he opts to go for the follow up or not, you're gonna win. Of course, you gotta block it though. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And that's a little bit easier said than done. Gotta be careful. All right, knockdown. Gotta run up. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, look at a whip punish. Oh man, hitbox porn there. <laughs> Incredible whip punish. <laughs> what? Okay. I, I, okay, I heard that. We're gonna keep it going. Yeah. <laughs> and, <Jump in>. was... <laughs> and there it is. EX tackle, rolling death cradle. Mainty Kun is tucked in. <laughs> yeah, man, just tucked in, right? So put on the bed. Put on the bed. <laughs> and now here comes Blue Mary. Tries to go for the JB, but we are a little too close with that hop. Not able to quite get the cross up. Mm. Big old buttons. There we go. No time at all. You're right, Max. Max Powers, honorary third commentator. Go. We're always talking over him, too. How rude are we? Oh. <laughs> there you go. Okay. There you go, Max. My bad. Yeah, you know. Gotta be respectful of the third man. 
It would be sick though if like he if he came out to one of these events and like the guy had like commentary. <laughs> that would be sick. Oh, but there we go. Guard cancel trying to keep Shadow X locked down in the corner. But man, they are brawling. We are just sending out buttons trying to get out of this situation. Yeah, speaking of sending, Shadow just sent himself off the corner, enabling Nair to get that cross up into it. And that was a good M Spider. Good block again. DP challenge, much needed. So we got all the bars. Just finding a hit right now on Mary. Oh, wow, able on the first hit of the DP just can't fight right into the super. Yeah, good stuff. Oh! Nice. Oh, not enough. And you know what? He's gonna throw some buttons. It's close to ending, but we're gonna end it here with a chain drive. Player one needs a miracle. Cough to down to anchor Isla. What a turnaround here. Oh, we tried to get you with the trip guard there, the 2B. Just whipping the 5A over her head. Man, that same CD is so cheap. Hold up. Oh, we are going left and right. Bring it around town. There's the knockdown. Ooh. Well, yeah, blowback finish. Good stuff. Smart decision. Get that gorilla off of you. We come into our final character on Shadow Exercise, but he's still up a game. All he needs to do is win this to close it out. Yurikov desperately, desperately has to make the right reads in order to force a game three. Yeah, it's going to be a difficult one here. There's a nice jump in over the fireball. Spending the meter as fast as we get it. Trying to even up the score in life. And just like that, we have. We got the taco, but no confirm. Yeah, it didn't finish there. You can see Yurikov getting a little antsy. Right now, just trying to wrap this up as fast as he can. Nice 5C anti-air. And this can go either way. Activates Maximo, but it's on hit. We are going to get the Scum Gallon Jobber. That's it. Yep, like the fireworks, because Shadow X is moving on to Loser's Finals. Keep an eye on this yeah, good stuff. Winner! Thought about it, man. He pondered. After losing that, that first set. Dude. Forgot that movie's coming out. It was lit, bro. The Shadow the Hedgehog Pancake. Chocolate pancakes. And I had a That's knuckle crazy. sandwich. How clever is That's that? That's crazy. How clever is that, bro? Well, one of yeah. these players is about to eat a knuckle sandwich. Here we go. Terry Bogard versus Clark. Yo, Clark Terry Still. That's a crazy last name, right? Still. Like, it's almost as cool as himself. Bro, he's Clark Still. I acknowledge you, Yurikov. <laughs> and still, Clark. All right. No way, big DP off the first interaction. Sombra not afraid to let it rip, but of course things like that can happen. Oh, you oh, got red okay. baby setups for days. Yeah, we got armor too. Into the Frankensteiner. Big Papa Pump. There it is again. Oh. Hey! So players don't let it happen often, obviously, for the damage in Oki. But if you let the hey, if you let that rock, that builds like a significant yes. amount of meter. Yeah. Absolutely. Normally, they'll only do that if it ends up they end up getting the kill with a Frankenstein, mm -hmm. right? You get that little extra meter at the end. Yeah. Usually, though, you always want to go for the elbow drop, though, because it gives you much better spacing. Oh, yeah. Speaking of spacing, you're taking the corner. Shadow X fighting out. Like, just, he looks like he's ready to win this tournament. Samba's going to need to navigate, though. Get the clean jump. Wasn't deep enough. That is a bit of a problem with Joe. It seems like... His normals, his jump normals. You gotta hit them so deep. I mean, look, Shadow is uh, he's willing to do it himself. All right, meet in the middle. Mm -hmm. Ooh, spinning back fist. Samba thinking carefully oh, about really? his next move. Okay. There it is. Oh, okay. So you don't gain the meter if you kill with the Frankenstein. That's my bad. Yeah, well, that makes sense because their health is already yeah, yeah. gone, right? So you, you would actively have to give up. It's damage. such a rare situation to see that. I just assumed otherwise. But my God, there we go. Meaty fireball. Guard cancel still going to get blown up after the recovery there. Yeah, wasted meter. The piece is coming in. And uh, this is looking really good for Shadow X. Again, a slow start for him in his tournament. We're seeing why he is who he is. And he is him. Yeah. 
right? Guard cancel backwards, create some space. It's really difficult to force East to win, right? So that guard cancel backwards is a really nice idea from Shadow X. And no setup right there. Whoa! Right time to roll through. This is good. Yeah, with the exit, just make sure, yeah. Still not enough to kill, but one more toe tap should do it. Trade, maybe a fireball. Yeah, he was looking for it. Or you can just use palm, right? Yeah, just use palm to advance. Wow, and Sombra spent the meter there for the guard cancel. Okay, hop soon. That's right, Max Powers. Let him know. I missed the girl announcer from KOF 14. She'd be like, that was godlike. That was god. She was, she was so cool. Uh oh, but here we go. CD gets the counter back to mid screen. Oh. Yeah, this should be enough here. Massive damage. You get the follow up. Shadow X really drops these, so that's going to be it. All right, Shadow X already looking good. Again, remember though, this is going to be three out of five, which means Sombra is going to get that opportunity. And we've seen it time and time again, Rome, that Sombra will lose game number one, sometimes in brutal fashion, only to make the like perfect adjustments. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that is for sure. And we're seeing that on display. I mean, the much needed. Again, these guys, they, they play so much, numerously throughout the week, not just TNS, but other online tournaments that like you just get so acclimated to each other's style and then just because you lost to player a today doesn't mean that next to tns you'll lose to, to player a you might beat him you might destroy him even so yeah absolutely oh man frankensteiner right off the bat though and then again one more oh no he knee tapped him yo every read okay yeah you got a dp at that point and you see somber kind of just Frantically jumping around. But this Clark does not matter. EX Death Cradle into the corner. Oh, oh, slugging man. it out. Buttons for days. And he knows Sombra is just trying to get his offense started. Jump A over the burn knuckle. Clark, you need to be stopped. <laughs> He's, I mean, honestly, putting Clark on point in this matchup, especially against Terry, is so smart because you know Sombra wants to rush you down play that really aggressive game. That's where Clark wants you to be. He wants to be close to you brawling like that. He's so good in the scramble. Bro, if, if I, if I am, uh, if, if I'm Sombra, I, I gotta be sweating a little bit behind my monitor because this is insane. There we go, elbow drop again. Tried to catch the roll through, not gonna oh. work, but it is gonna get a massive punish. This should be enough too. Good God, Clark is gonna be on perfect health here. Coming in against Gee, Shadow X looking like he's got somewhere to go. He's like, man, I gotta head to Philadelphia. I gotta go watch WrestleMania. <laughs> I gotta get out of here. I gotta finish this gotta tournament. Fight, bro. <laughs> I gotta fight the catch. You gotta watch Cody Rhodes finish the story. <laughs> <laughs> For real. Oh, and there it is. Guard point into the Argentinian backbreaker again. Oh, okay, nice. got the jump. Good stuff. Good stuff. About time we went for that neutral jump there, right? Mm hmm. Catch will close to you this time. So. Oh, wake up, Shatter Strike. Wake up, Frankensteiner. <laughs> Not going down without a fight. Yeah, and finally able to snowball Clark, so prevents the Clark OCB. Mm -hmm. But you still got to get through K-Dash and Iori here. You have plenty of resources to do it, though, as Sombra, right? This is not an unwinnable situation. Definitely not. I mean, Geese is good at doing, like, big combos for damage. His burst damage is solid, too, so just need a few openings here to try to retain some resources. Again, got to get the chance to do it. And Shadow X is Clark has, I mean, uh, K-Dash has great pressure, but we are going to guard cancer roll through it. Look at that. That was a decision to make for sure, and I think it's coming back to haunt Sombra. Giving no. up the corner. There it is. Yeah, I mean, Sombra is Sombra kind of has the mentality in a lot of cases. It feels like to go for maximum damage, but in that situation where you still have like you know you have to go through another character, putting yourself in the corner there was the death sentence. Definitely was not the decision that you want to make. But I just can't believe Shadow X with all of those different reset options. That was cute.
he definitely started busting out all the weird stuff. And of course, Sombra just wasn't aware, right? I mean, we've seen Sombra have some great, like, just setups earlier too with Jill, right? Some empty jump lows, some very specific cross ups, but seeing him on the back end this time, and he is down two games. Shadow X looking incredibly stronger as his bracket progresses. Oh, we got the best of Sokka. 2002 Unlimited match. Let's go. What a hop there from Shadow X. Just avoiding the close C. Still, Sombra undeterred immediately wakes up with that rising tackle. And now we're back to neutral. Yeah, you can't do that. One frame command throw, baby. Oh, the cross up. And this is much needed for Sombra. Finally, can close the gap in that point war. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this is kind of making me want to play 2002. A little bit. Very little. Uh oh, rising tackle is blocked, but no punish on it. That is massive. Yeah, that's a big drop right there. That's not a big drop. Counter hit conversion off the stand B. Six stuff. Just kicked him out of the sky. <laughs> he really did. Okay, DP. Curry has two options for that clean jump in. Oh. How does Ombra do it? How does he do it, bro? This is looking like almost a repeat of what we saw with Reno going down two games, now bringing it back with Terry. For sure. For my Pokemon heads out there, it looks like Sombra might be Reggie Gigas. He might have that slow start. He activates later on in the rounds. We're seeing that here. He is waking up, indeed. Oh, the cross up in the corner! <laughs> it was a double cross up! <laughs> you saw Yori turn around a double yeah. cross up! I love when that happens. I love when that happens. K15. <laughs> yeah. Alright, we're trying to subdue. We do as well with Shadow X, but at what cost? Yeah, we got maybe 30% life left. Nasty work, brother. <laughs> Nasty work. Yo, Yori was bird watching. <laughs> That's all right. Terry's gone. Terry's gone. The monster is gone, but we still have to go through Mr. Joe. Oh. Big stand with punish. Yeah, you got to watch that jump. Watch yourself. Okay. Max mole for the added pressure. Yeah, just weather the storm, though. That's okay. Nice. With a literal storm with the tornadoes. I like it. That was a lot of meters spent there from Sombra. What a reaction! The hop to blow it up! Sombra getting a game on the board. Good stuff. Sombra much needed game. Dude, we might see this go to like five uh, to five games, right? You know, three, game five, three, two. We might very well get that. I would not be surprised because honestly, Sombra's just comeback potential is incredible. Yeah, it's definitely nuts seeing it on display if he can take control again at this point where it might happen shadow he, x gonna lock in this team not switching orders mm -hmm. he's here to play the long game yo he likes his uh he likes his uh hundred hour video games you know he's he wants to get it all then completing all the side quests <laughs> oh, unlocking Ready? everything all the collective bonds <laughs> getting them all let's see let's see back into clark oh, versus <laughs> <laughs> nobody home but jumping over Shadow X's own DP there. Terry's DMD does it way too much damage. Let's, let's, let's just damage already off a of meterless DMD. 300 plus. He, he needs it. Ooh. That was an interesting interaction. The rising tackle on the Frankensteiner. But of course, Shadow X recovers first in time and takes down Terry in quick order. Mm. Shadow X said, enough, bro. That's it. This is not your game. Your game doesn't come out until next year. He says, you're not going to finish your story. So Joe, hopefully he can do that for him. Joe hasn't been performing as well as he'd like, though. Good read, but again, the uh, Frankenstein does recover a little faster. Tragic there. Mm -hmm. Getting baited out and spending the meter. There's the DDT elbow drop for the Oki. Ooh. 
face down. Woohoo! Oh, that was a... Yeah, it was funny interaction, yeah, though. Like, you didn't juggle him. Did you see the knee hit there right at the very end? <laughs> yeah. The rising knee? <laughs> yeah, sick. Damn, the whiff punished. This is good here for Sombra. Yep, I agree. Even with the scaling, this is still a smart decision. Yep, able to get the kill there. That's what's most important. And you know, Sombra, we've already established, is the kind that if he's got it, he's going to spend it. Mm hmm. I'm definitely spending it. I don't. I don't disagree at all. You can fight K Dash a little bit more manageable, like than dealing with Clark. Of course, you know, you could just eat a stand CD. Oh, that was great timing. Yeah, he okay, tried to bait out a DP there. We saw Sombra get that opening early on Louis shot and it worked. I know Shadow X is definitely watching that though. Oh, but here we go. Spends the super. It's right back to mid screen. There's the EX hit those plus frames. Tried to bait out the GP. You saw that. Yeah. Stays in. I like that he opts to go for Golden Hill and block strings and not just Fireball. Good stuff though. The fadeaway jump V. Ooh, that could have been uppercut. Oh man, hit the black mass right there. Uh huh. East Howard, the last stand for Sombra. Helping him hopefully get out of the shadow of this winner's uh, loser's finals. Excuse me. Bro, why is that hit so high? Oh, no, jump in, gets the EX again. Look at the corner carry on that. Nearly coast to coast. Yeah, take him to the other side. Sombra just a lot of bad decisions right now. This won't be it, but definitely going to be in a perilous situation. Try to go for the instant overhead. Shadow always tries to find a way to sneak that in. Oh, oh it's just like low. Yeah, snuck in that empty low. Shadow X looking so strong, so dominant. Performing at the highest level as he wins that with a 3-1 L by his name. Going up against Reno with the W. Let's see if he can maintain that W or will there be two L's by both? Well, no more speculating. We're going to find our answer right now where I'm going to kick things off with two big strong boys. Clark versus Yashiro ready to brawl it out. There's the Death Lake driver into the Frankensteiner. Bro, he just starts off with crazy momentum throwing you to the corner. Yeah, look at that. Yashiro can't even get a button out. Oh. All right. Yeah, able to get out of harm's way, but we jump backwards because that's fear. That's fear in Reno's eyes. Yeah, it might be, but you got to show zero fear. The jump back D. Yeah, that D from Clark just giving you the D. Doing a good job with it, but we've got the chase pause. down. No, no pause, bro. No, no <laughs> Diddy, bro. Oh, no. Look at the turnaround, though. Yasha does not care the damage. He's got it, baby. Yeah, and wow, what a comeback there from Reno. Like you said, that Yashiro damage is devastating some of the best buttons in the game as well. <laughs> Exploded. Shadow X came out firing off all cylinders, and Yashiro says, nah, bro, hold this damage. Oh, my catching your jump there with the close C. Dude, they're playing so fast right now. <laughs> oh, I mean, look at this. You, you, you've heard of the feminine urge to JB. This is the masculine urge to JC, all right? There's the DP. Shadow X finally putting Yashiro down. That's the nine binary DP. Let's get it, man. Yo, we are cooking right now. Hyder coming in with the onesie. They both got on the Nike tech suits, actually. It's about to get crazy. Oh, the cross up there coming through. Yep. Put him in the blender, the pinwheel. Give me your money. Block. Okay, good decision right there with the heavy kick version of the follow up. Close to coast, baby. Taking him. Shadow X looking good. One more of those can actually do the trick. Keeping the pressure on. Dude, that Hydra in 2C is maniacal. Trip. 36 seconds. Yeah, and the Reno's are going to back away. Definitely want to create that space. We saw what Kate Ash was doing. But Reno, I mean, uh, Shadow X content on not jumping in. And that's the, the big, like... That's just gonna help him a lot in a set, right? We've seen most people just consistently try to open up Hyder by jumping in and eating Moon Slashers. Yeah, but no, willing to sit back. There's the jumping though. This time it is gonna be from Hyder himself. 
Hey, that is down. I don't like how they just stand there and let him just dig in your pockets like that. Like, yo, fight him off, bro. <laughs> this ain't Gotham City. Bro, he's hitting with the CQC. No, back there's Taco. Oh, no. He didn't see no, standing his ground there around Star, but he is going to get pushed back into the corner for his troubles. There's a nice escape. Gets out, takes a little bit of damage in the process, but not being in the wall is even better. I love the 2T mash. Oh, okay, stays in front. Good stuff. Get him out. Yeah, game number one here being incredibly competitive. Arena is coming in with the Orochi Yashiro with four bars on deck. Nearly five. Yeah. Oh. Don't he only needs one. <laughs> he only needs one of those bars, but definitely looks good to have more. Okay. Don't get hit now, actually. Not at all, please. My man's loaded with attacks and turns. He's big chilling. Pro's about to be the thing that killed the dinosaurs. The Ice Age? The Ice yeah. Age! <laughs> Shout out to Arnold. We know you watching, Arnold. Oh, the biggest KOF fan. He loves TNS, bro. <laughs> he loves it. As the best though. Every single one of these jumps, every single one of these touches is so scary right now. You can see Shadow X is playing incredibly patiently, not taking any unnecessary risks. Yeah, and he's spinning meter on reversals too, right? Like guard cancel roll. Definitely don't want to do that against the toe touch. No, he doesn't cancel the one time he really needs. Okay, he's gonna salvage, but you almost fumbled the ball, sir. Almost. And dying with all of that meter, a full stick of butter, and Reno didn't get to cook. No cooking, sir. The grill is off, dude. Shut it down. Bro said, I bet the flames of hell burn hotter than mine. That's kind of hard. I'm not going to lie. It is. Flames of hell? What do you mean, Twitter? You know what they say, bro. If you hard, you hard. If you hard, you're hard? Yeah, that's that's uh, Joey, bro. Says, that's, huh? <laughs> I'm hard. For more KLF, I love to see it here. Shadow X taking the first game. Let's see what we can me, do. There's the DP. <laughs> yeah, yeah, where's Tong? <laughs> Tong, stay away, bro. Don't watch this. Don't watch this. Here we go. Yeah, we got the we got the neutral right now, and Clark definitely. Yeah, he's got that big old five C. Just all the buttons. He had time to run up and get that. That's insane. I know it's anywhere juggle, but goddamn. All right, but there we go. Frankenstein gonna put you into the corner. Great positioning out for Shadow X. Empty low. It's time to go. No, 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 no. no he, why Clark be making the Lex Luger noises, bro? <laughs> He's just no, up, no, no, no. very passionate about early, <laughs> the late late 90s wrestling, bro. He loves it. Try to go for the plus two on the pressure. Yes! Oh, it's there. The guard point DP. Ooh, into the advancing strike at the plus frames. Yeah. Not a bad idea to do against a grappler character, but Shadow X had the presence of mind to just block that. Shadow X looking incredibly strong here in this grand final set, already taking the first game and the first round. Oof. Yeah, we, we de definitely might see a bracket reset. Man, it's just, Shadow X yeah, the way that he utilizes JA and is also it will measure the distance to hop in to get close enough for the far C is huge. There's nowhere to run. Oh my god, three death like drivers. <laughs> Why are you running? <laughs> All right, we got the cross up. Still, everything back, it should be enough to kill as well. Yeah. Much needed, much needed for Reno. Getting that additional health boost on the timer uh, coming into this round. I mean, Clark stood on business though. <laughs> Definitely did. Kid Ash can follow suit. Keep the momentum in Shadow's favor. Yeah, I'm spending, I was about to say that. I am not letting Hyder live at all. Kill him now. Mm -hmm. We can put ourselves in a strong 2-0 lead over Reno. I think a reset might be inevitable. It definitely might be. It's looking more and more uh, prominent to come. So, which puts Reno on the back foot because he Reno's he hasn't been able to be Reno right in the set. You know, usually likes to bully and he hasn't been able to do that. Shadow X throwing out hitboxes. You are not advancing, sir. 
Bro, Come he's, on, he's, bro. he's combo in the air. <laughs> He'll fight back. He's at a, you know, he's like a, he's like in a mosh pit right now. That's what he's doing. <laughs> he's moshing. Oh, but here we go. Drops right on your head. There's the level one. Now you gotta hold this. Incoming JC. Yeah. Oh, goes for JP. Having the corner definitely helps him out, right? Because he didn't have to worry about a cross up. Yeah. Doesn't even matter. Runs into that big old 2C stop sign. Get gripped up, homie. Mm. All right, so this is a really important round now for Shadow X, right? Uh, whether or not we can get that comfortable lead, put ourselves in a really nice situation to get a reset, or we're going to be brought right back down into the trenches to slug it out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just, we really just be moshing out here, man. Bro, 5B, it's good. It's good. Yeah, that was a normal I was very worried about when I knew they were adding Astro to this game. That thing is annoying in older games, too. Just as annoying in this one. Yeah. No anti-air challenge. Tried to with the 5C, but whiffing. Yeah, the hop D was really nice, though. <laughs> My arena com consistently goes for two of them. Oh, CD was very nice. Mm. Oh, right, we got three bars. Any straight 5B will lead to max gold in B for Reno. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, delay. Yep. Yep. Love when they delay that Rekka there to get you pressing. Oh, he didn't activate. That was his big chance. He just activated Max off the team, uh, the far C. Hey, still has an opportunity here. Has the life lead. That's going to be the kill, 100%. Yep. Send it. Mm, doesn't even need the extension with the climax. What a stellar fight! <laughs> and now one apiece here. Reno finally getting up on the board. That is a, a, a really unfortunate for Shadow X, right? It, mm. Now showing signs of life. Yeah, this is the last thing you need if you're Shadow. You understand that you have to win six games, technically five now, and the last thing you need is your opponent saying, oh, wait, hold up. I'm not going to get slaughtered. I'm fighting back. Yeah, fighting back and maybe taking charge of the entire set, right? Yeah. If Reno can turn this around, it's something that we've seen a lot so far tonight is someone will get game number one and they end up still losing the entire set. It's been kind of a curse. The <laughs> curse of Raw. Uh-oh, here we go. A Frankensteiner. <laughs> empty jump Frankenstein. Empty hop Frankenstein, I should say. <laughs> Double roll, you get away from me. Then I'm out, bro. <laughs> See ya. Yeah, Reno, he goes right back to that just full screen. Oh, but you can't escape Clark. You can't escape my ref. Oh, but here we go. He did the heavy version and got the extra juice on the super. Yeah, incredible. It was able to get the hammer fist there too, but wasn't able to get enough damage to close it out. Now stuck in a really difficult place. Neutral hop right over the Frankenstein. Our beautiful Ooh. call out there. Yeah, much needed call out. So one thing Clark doesn't have, he doesn't have like a specific anti-air throw like Oyashiro does. So, you know, you don't have to guess too much in a situation. Just hold up. What up? Car playing on a minute spike. <laughs> you know, the K-Dash combos just don't stop, man. He got a steam playing in the background. That's why getting a power boost KOF 11 OST. Oh, EX right through. And this is the right time, yeah. Right time to rush down the hider when he doesn't have meter. Yo, shut up! Look at that, always throwing, throwing out the 2A, that measuring stick. But again, with the EX slide from Shadow X. Catching him off guard. It's the overhead's not enough to the kill, though. Very close. Nicely done. The smash. Oh. Hey, you already know. Yeah, Calcula, you know it. 
Same oh. Yostro, different jacket. Same I think, combo. I think we wanted a hop CD there instead. We got a full jump CD. Definitely. Oh, the check with the 2C. Oh, yeah. Get this wall of normal. It's going to scale from the TD, but still. Uh, I mean, this is big damage. And we do get a safe jump set up as well. So. Yeah, you got to guess. Left or right. What's it going to be? All right. It's going to be same side. Into a huge punish with the CD. Oh, he tried to bait something out. Shadow's still in there. The pressure is on. All we got to do is a little more opening here. And we found it with the full jump C. Yeah, now up 2-1 over Reno. Taking it to the very edge now, Rome. The edge of tomorrow. Hanging on the Sorry, I'm still in the Sonic mine right now. <laughs> The IHOP breakfast was old. Bro, did you, did, you see, did you see Knuckles at Stand Deliver? Dude, he was there. He was behind Booker T. He was, bro. <laughs> My tribal chief, Knuckles. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. I acknowledge him. <laughs> I acknowledge you, Echidna. Oh, we're going to have to acknowledge the potential oh bracket God. reset that could happen if Shadow stays on this momentum shift that he has. Oh, there's a great guard point, though, coming out from Reno, but answers right back with a guard point of his own. Mm. Oh. oh, he busting out all the bangers here. We got to tame a bad boy, too. KOF 13. Oh, good looking at that chop. All right, popping in again. Hmm. And just being that, that giant wall. And we find an active jump A. This dude, Yashiro, he's so blessed. I'm so glad I picked up this character as we stay in front with the jump C. Yep, and taking down Clark just like that. Hey, look, I don't know if either of these players are listening, but whoever wins this, put on a, a saxophone under the moon next, all right? Hey, <laughs> Gotta be in a random rotation. Yeah, you know what? This is the unofficial KOF 13 team because I fight Kim all the time. I hear it constantly. Chase down. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Ooh, that's a tagger. Didn't finish off. Oh, but there we go. Throws out the 2D. I love throwing out the 2D there, right? Especially because in a lot of those situations, Yashiro players will just throw out like a 5B or a 5C after the dash punch to try and yeah. close the gap and feel a turn. Definitely great awareness and a good decision making from Shadow X. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here comes now, for sure, I think if there is a bracket reset, we are switching off a character from uh, you know, and he's got you know he's got a few in the tank. He's got Ash. I think he still kind of has Isla, even though you don't see him bring her out too much. Yeah, definitely has leaned back more on this than this Hydern and. Ooh. Mm. Okay, you know what? That's cool. We recovered it. Yeah, we salvaged. Yeah. Definitely salvage deal with that combo extension. Oh, safe jump. Blow up the DP. Get all that health back as well for Hydern. Mm. That sound effect, like he's he's literally drinking. It sounds like like when you're drinking through a straw. Drinking with your essence. Ooh. My boy hit the dab on the hot back CD. <laughs> right there, it's the super confirming out the fireball. Oh no. Oh, and that yeah. was a really unfortunate with DP. I had a figure, like, I knew that wasn't gonna work because it was just right out of the corner. He thought he was close enough, but it just wasn't. Wow, the 2A check-in. That's how bad Taco was in this game. You can just 2A check it. Here we go. Time to slow things down just a little bit. Reno knowing how dangerous this position is. Just need to whittle down the health. Slicer comes through. Not enough, though, to get the kill. We have access to another one. Down the last character. Safe to say we might be going for a, uh, game five here. The clock is winding down. We don't contain on big chilling. Doesn't need to advance at all. He's got a character and a life no. lead. 
even if you get thrown, that's not going to be enough. But we go right on in. Mm -hmm. Able to get the cross slash. Yeah, you're forcing Shadow X to, to move out of his comfort zone, right? Like, and that's the situation you want to put him in. That's how you win. That's how you defeat a player is by forcing them out of their element as we go into this game five. Instant rematch as well. No one needs to take any breaks. This is going to be it. We're either getting one more set or we're closing it out. Mm-hmm. I mean, what do you what do you think? Shadow X is gonna go to character select and pick somebody else. He ain't got nobody else. He's order putting select. It all in on these. He could go to order select. That is true. That is true. He could do it. But he's gonna lock in these three characters. Yeah, feeling confident Ready? about the point. Go. The point. Clark here. Clark still on point. Mm -hmm. Get it? Yep. No, nah, actually, I don't. <laughs> all right, we gonna get this potential reset or tournament victory here. You know, again, trying to stop the right idea, bro. You don't want to do that. All right, dash punch in. Immediately challenging with the 2C. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We're seeing the slow approach. Oh, the double hop. I'm reading you, boy. I'm in your head. Uh -huh. This is a devastating turn of events right now for Reno. No. Ooh. And the stop sign. Yeah! <laughs> He's just Tom and Jerry ass sound effect. Yeah! <laughs> Shadow X like, give me this reset, baby. I can smell it. I think things are looking pretty good right now for Shadow X. Has this massive lead. Oh, okay. Oh, that B, B Argentinian backbreaker just catches the best of us, man. The young thug edibles, insane. I don't think I've ever heard it described that way. He said ad libs, bro. Oh, I, I'm on edibles. I, I know how you, I know how you're celebrating WrestleMania tonight. <laughs> <laughs> you already know. Oh, and there we go. Dash in, steals the turn with the two B. But it started early with the DDT. Oh, the frame trap stating, yeah, this is looking like a foregone conclusion. My boy Shadow X looking to reset this bracket. With that Clark CV, the OCV, the one Clark victory. Yo, the Adlets. Wait, head of all, bro. You can do this. Hold on. Wait, wait a minute. Reno, Reno. Whoa, the call out. Yeah, Reno absolutely can do this. Having nearly four bars with Orochi Yashiro, you gotta play a really good game, though. Yeah. He's gotta get his game on like Jaden Yuki. Clark said, I don't like GX, bro. Get that out of here. I'm more of a 5Ds kind of guy. Here's the oh. It's on the JC. You rarely ever see JC get used. And just like that, rolling straight on in into a reset. Mm, God. Damn, he said I'm more of a 5Ds and then hit 5Ds? Nasty work. Good stuff. Got a reset, folks. Shadow X. This guy is unstoppable. I mean, we've seen him do bracket resets. Ain't nothing have changed. And we're right back in there. Let's see what Reno does. Though. Reno, again, like I said, has an Ash Crimson on reserve. Uh, he's got Isla. Would be cool if he bust out the Elizabeth. I know it's been ages since he's played that character, but would be cool. I, I feel like you just oh, gotta stick it, it out. Lock yeah. it in with the same team. I mean, you took it all the way to game five, right? So you're, there's not necessarily anything wrong with the team that you are running. It's just, you know, some of these matchups that you've been having difficult with. Difficult time it's the with. momentum, too. Yeah, it's the, it's the momentum, right? Like, you know, KYF is such a game where when you're just on it, when you're on fire, right? Like any NBA jam style, everything just comes up millhouse. You guess correctly, you land everything. Your opponent just starts to fumble. And Shadow X, not only his play style, but his characters just like, that's what they dominate at. It's just you fumbling the bag. Yeah, absolutely. And we already know Shadow X is one of the best players who, who can utilize momentum, especially Clark. I, I think Clark is probably the heaviest Ready? snowball character in the game. Dude, Clark is so frustrating. Like, he is such a snowball. Just the, some of the best normals you will ever see. And he, his whole play style is just to, to annoy you. So you add that again to a player like Shadow X, and like, it's just going to be all in his favor. But here we go. Order switch, putting Oyashiro on point. Grappler versus Grappler. Ooh. 
All right. Able to get the low. Watch your ankles. Great to the super. We're going to get the set play off of this. Definitely going to need it. Yeah, he is so good at just catching you. Oh, why, why does this character get so much damage plus some of the best OP in the game? He gets it all. He's going to fly back at you. DDT, and that's going to be a good one. That's the finish, brother. Yeah, that's it. We're going home, man. Taking it home. Shouldn't be kicking out of DDTs. I mean, <laughs> that move has been that move has been slaughtered and used for the past like 40 years, bro. Uh, Jake the Snake. Oh, he's not dead. They're rolling in his grave, but he ain't even dead. Clark is though. Clark is out of here. Paralyzed Clark still. Dude, that guitar going. Mm -mm. Whoa, the range on that. Here we go, hop in, immediately answers back with a DP, not going to allow him reset. Plus frame. Ooh. Yeah, you can't press a button there. Come on, bro. I've been I'm doing glad it for two patches now. <laughs> I'm glad to see players in, uh, embracing advancing strike, right? Yeah. Getting the plus frames on it, utilizing it to blow up throws. It's been, it, it, it's slipped in very nicely. It's not game changing, but it's definitely a great, you know, just extra tool in the toolbox. It's like putting an extra ingredient on like an already good burger, right? It's like, it could get even better. Maybe we'll add this. And I uh, definitely worked out in that way. See Reno trying to work things out here. He wants to maintain the character lead. That Shadow is down to sub 200 with his K-Dash. The K-Dash is ferocious up until the whiff he needs. Yeah, I was even saying that at SWC. I didn't think players would be as acclimated, but at, at SK World Championships, we got to see great usage of Advanced Strider, uh, Shadow Strike by a lot of players. Advanced Strike, excuse me, a lot of players. It's uh, it's Shadow Strike Baja, Baja Blast. <laughs> Baja, <laughs> Shadow Strike Blue. Oh, but there we go, standing D. All the way through, OTG with the Hammer Fist. Wow, Gar cancel into DP. Interesting decision from Shadow X, but it ends up working out. Got him. Taking it down yet again. First game starting out just like the first game of the last set. Shadow oh. X did take that one. Let's see if Reno will be able to steal this away. Neither player wants to give. It's just been back and forth this entire set. Down to the wire. Let's go. We need the English voice for Yuri. <laughs> he screams what's wrong, I think, when he does fireball. What's wrong? Nice moon slasher. Good block on the uh like fuzzy guard actually on the close D. Yo, the right time to let it rip. And there's the quick max. Goodbye, Iori. Reno takes game number one. There it is. Spirit Detective Hydern with the ray gun. Ray gun! He said, yo, I got one eye, bro. Do you, you expect me to be afraid of that? I got one eye. I'm staring at you with that oh, one. For someone with one eye, he has some great depth perception to get that spacing down. <laughs> he'd, be, he'd make for an excellent Crash Bandicoot speedrunner. That's for sure. Reno, please protect my points. <laughs> oh, of course. Here we go. Jumping right back into it. No changes whatsoever. We are just running the same team, same order. Damn, we got all the bangers coming out on Shadow X's side. Ooh. Ooh, wow. The 2D just, just putting him out of the corner enough. For Reno to land in there, which you can see kind of threw Reno off. Yeah, that could have been that could have been really, really ugly. Wow, that jump A is so crazy. Let's go for a cross-up jump C, just not deep enough to get it actually to land. Yeah, a little, little too close to Clark to go for that. Ah. That back fist is coming, bro. Oh, Ooh. yeah, look. Phasing, you see, throwing it out just like you called it. Oh. And there we go. It gets the EX tackle. Empty jump. 
Oh, and people to another hop. I thought we were going to go for empty jump command grab. It looks like he was trying to get a read on like an air to air throw. You know, they give it some, they'll get this this time. Yeah, he is absolutely spending it as well. Yeah, get that kill, get that lead. Don't allow Shadow X to build up any momentum. That is the key to this matchup. You need to derail him at every second you can. He's going off. Burek coach. Empty hop low. Empty hop low has been. Uh, it's been the, the the bread and butter, the salt and pepper of these two so far in this matchup. It's been working, yeah. And that's something that like in KOF, uh, more specifically in in the last two games, because of how b good back throw is, you don't see them as often, right? Like it's usually like a built-in OS. So because if they if you're doing if you're doing back and throw, if they jump with a heavy normal, you block it. But if they land, you just throw them out of their uh, low attempt. That was a crazy whiff punish, actually. Marino with the sweep. Oh, but there's the guard cancel into the DP once again. We saw that before from Shadow X in the last game as well. The check. Oh, there's a cross up yet again. Oh, how much are we spending here? Because this is going to hurt regardless. Oh, we're spending a meter for sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yo, I love it. Shadow X just knowing every single uh, reversal option that he has. K Dash has quite a few. Regular DP, EAG, DP, level one super, but could not reverse that jump and get blown up, says Reno. Yeah, and the neutral jump was incredible there too, right? Being able to call out so many different things. You could get over a fireball, you could get over an EX slide, anything mm -hmm. that Shadow X was thinking about doing, it was able to cover it. Speaking of, whew, there it is. Cover up with your six, sir. Back in the dome. There it is. Saturday in the park. I think it was the 4th of July. Great fireworks to close that out. Mm -hmm. Yuri loves, you can tell he loves the 4th of July. Big firework fan, big Glizzy fan. He loves it. Like, <laughs> Yuri he's with the there. Glizzy, bro? You know it, man. He'd be at, the, he'd be at the, the Nathan's hot dog eating contest. Out here playing God Bless America on the sax phone. Yeah. Oh, not a sax. Under the moonlight, bro. Under the, the Glizzy. <laughs> Let's go for another cross up. Okay, gets the low profile. We don't have as much resources, so we have to save and consume what we can. We do have EX flip to go over fireballs, though, so he knows gotta be careful. Chases him down instead. On the flip side here, though, Reno has plenty of meters, so we can go for those guard cancels if we want to get some space. We can. We also got the climax punish. Not anymore, because we're down. <laughs> He's gonna roll back. He's just hopping forward. Yo, just get away from me. Create some space. Yo, create something. Try to force. And now he can actually kill with level three. He's gonna go in. Yeah, right. Go away. Bro, he caught him. Yeah, he actually. Dude, I heard the hit effect, and you saw Iori still standing grounded. That was nasty. That was a nail biter. Keep an eye on this That's crazy, bro. He just, he just hit him with the, with the Charlie Nash super, bro. <laughs> he definitely did. Just paired right behind him. Yo, I heard the hit and Yori was still there. That was that was wild. I don't think I've ever seen that interaction before. Well, after an incredible reset from Shadow X, now Reno has a 2-0, a staggering 2-0 lead here, looking to close things out. Yeah, three we straight. are getting close. Three straight. Yeah, it could happen. I mean, it would be very unfortunate, right? Shadow X got the reset only to lose three games. Like, man, you know, like you don't want to go out that way. Ready? Absolutely not. Orochi Yashiro, this is the stance coming in first from the Grappler War. Oh, you can never, never protect yourself properly from this guy. 50% plus is already gone. Counter. Oh, we were playing KOF, not playing blue. Uh, hey, look, uh, uh. Shadow. Shadow has stuck with this team for like 20 years. If these characters are in a KOF, he's playing them, and it's gonna end up losing Clark to kick things off here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, this is a hot start for Reno. Perfect performance with the health, and you still got an extra character. Up. <laughs> Just throwing out footsies. Footsies. All right, here's the DP. No more footsies. Time to scramble. Yeah. Time to try to land some big stuff. Entire air trip. Good spacing. And you just know the way Reno is playing right now, it's just to kind of get in Shadow X's head a little bit more. Oh, yep. It dropped right on your head. There it is with the super. Go for the jump CD. Nice. The 2C immediately as well. Definitely trying. Okay. Stand CD. Big chance for Shadow X. Much needed conversion. Does he drop it though? But still maintaining the corner. This is what he needs. Good bait on a command throw. Yeah, that was very, very nice. Oh, man, moved Silver. out there like a smooth criminal. Silver coming through with the raid. Thank you so much. Hope your stream went well. Y'all are just in time for the possible last match of Grand Finals. Yeah, possibly. Regardless, this will be the last set of KOF. So make sure to stick tuned. We stay tuned. We got Grand Blue coming up right after. Mm, yep. Yeah. Reno said I got hit by that one too many times. We are blocking Down that minute me. fight. To the last character here for Shadow X now. It is all, all up to this. All up to Mr. Iori Yagami. Sure. Gonna have to make this change. If he wants to stay alive. You know, Shadow X could do it, man. The Shadow X, somebody I even know. This guy is a, he's a soul bad guy player in uh, Plus R. He's definitely got those crazy comebacks. Oh. But that's also Yashiro, and that's also three bars. Oh, we just need that one solid hit, and we're going to get it right. Oh, he doesn't cancel. Yeah, no. Interesting. I wonder yeah. if it was just... Well... Okay, okay, it's all right. Still in this. I mean, he's still one touch away. That yeah. could have been it right there if he canceled. It's a super. I I also for the follow -up. And this is going to be it, Jobber. Finish it off nicely with the climax. Mean punch to the dome, shattering the glass. I am breaking the ceiling and asserting myself as the KOF 1591 TNS champion. And there you go. Reno does it here, putting on an incredible performance and making a 3-0 run. You're getting reset against Shadow X, knew the adjustments, made them, and has taken home the gold.